de, de todo porque el pussy sabe a Fanta. Oh, si la dejan por pendejos de casa. Did we end up letting everybody know? Did we end up letting everybody know that we're paint and sipping? I let my people know. Zipping. My people on TikTok knew. Okay, dope. All right, so we're paint and sipping. As you guys know, we got a special guest here, Gabby Hanna. We do have adios, motherfucker, so cheers. Because it's going to be adios, motherfucker. She's chilling <laughs> with the Mexicans now. I don't know what you've been up to before this, baby girl, but something's going to happen. Now, listen, guys, we, you wouldn't expect us to, like, know each other, but we do. And at the end of the day, like, on a like personal interpersonal like situation we've been cool to each other right like yeah, i think course, we've agreed yeah. on like a lot of shit anxiety neuro fucking typical fucking whatever the fuck uh -huh. neurodivergent all that shit so at this point what we're gonna do is we're just gonna talk about like what the fuck is going on right now yeah. topics fun topics good topics try to keep it positive if your comment already starts with like sis i you already know how i feel about that i'm just like girl don't hit me with that bullshit right now we are gonna continue with this fucking shit and we also have yayo who's making himself a fucking michelada that's my cousin and um, you met Pumba last time. Yeah. But we met gonna... him a couple times. Remember when we were in the studio together? <laughs> you were making, yeah, you were making songs. <laughs> Barely. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it was definitely, she was freestyling and I'm not going to lie, I'll say it, Gabby is a better freestyler than me. So if no, you guys want to hear freestyle rap from no. anybody here, it's going to be her. Because um, seriously, I would bet, like if she was to be like, yo, I will bet you $10,000 right now, like I wouldn't even get in the bet. Because I think she would freestyle longer than me. I wonder, I wonder though, because like, it's not like I'm like a freestyler or a rapper. Like I can, I just know words, but like you're a really good rapper. So it's, it's no, just different. It's because the expectation for me would be so much that higher. That makes sense. Then it's like for yeah. you, you could be like pig, wig, and everybody's going to be like, yeah. And then I'm going to yeah. be like, say the same thing. And they're going to be like, you fucking suck. Yeah, <laughs> they're I feel like, that. Where is the tech nine flow? But um, uh, yeah. So he's going to make. Like the we got. <gasps> Wait, is that for me or for you? Oh, because you had asked. Oh, yeah. The, no, I said, did, but, but I didn't want to take it if it was yours. I don't know. But no, I, no, no. I want it. <laughs> yeah, no, we have it. Okay, cool. So we have that. We have Adios, motherfucker. We getting real fucking me Mexican up in this bitch. Yeah. The dip, the rim dip. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I just, this is so sweet, and, like, I'm going to kill it, but, like, I need something to break it up, too. Honestly, I don't think I've ever finished an Adios, motherfucker, in my life. Yeah. So I'm lot. very scared. Uh, I don't drink usually. I, I, oh, damn. It, yeah, but I'm getting back into it a little bit. Okay, so Just maybe like bit. half of it. <laughs> no, when I'm in, I'm in. That's why I don't drink. <laughs> Cause like when I'm in, I'm in. I don't have boundaries with myself. Oh shit. Yeah. So I'm I mean, just like, I get that. But like if I'm drinking, like I'm drinking. Cause like if I have one Jesus drink, I'm gonna Christ. be hungover. So if I'm not, you know what I mean? I might as well just fucking go for I'm it. I'm already throwing water in mine. Mm. I'm like, listen, the way the way my podcasts have been going lately, I don't remember very much of what happened at the last. The last one was Latina and Lisette, right? I don't remember very much of what happened on the last one, but I do know that I was shuffling in the living room. We were dancing on top of my ca kitchen counter, and um, a lot of things went on later in the night that some of those I honestly dipped the fuck out for. I was like, y'all like y'all do that. What? Um, homoerotic things? <laughs> I'm just joking. Mm. <laughs> just very gay. Um, no, but it was it was fun. It, they were having girls' night. I was, in, I was not included because I was like y'all y'all could go ahead and figure that out the leg locking and all that go ahead and do that i'm i'm gonna go who was it um why weren't you involved you like leg locking <laughs> <laughs> no i don't you don't what do you like <laughs> what first of all what the fuck is a leg lock you said it latina it's a running joke because <laughs> latina said she said that she's been curious and she said that she has leg locked with a girl before and i was like <laughs> what the fuck is a leg lock and so she showed me and i was like that's not even gay i think that's just like I figured it was like scissoring. No, she oh. literally just was like laying, like let's say you're laying, like looking up. That person's laying, like looking up. Like let's say, like they were shy, so like their legs, like. Oh, that's just pressed. like cuddling. Yeah, like leg cuddling. But I guess if it's with a girl and you're not sure if you're gay, it's like special. Yeah, you're like. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> that's. Funny. I get it. Uh, I've never yeah. leg locked with anybody, but I imagine that's probably like the first time that a girl like called me like cute. Oh my god. Okay, well, that, I don't think that was what they were doing. That's <laughs> what it comes up when you look up leg lock mm. okay i need a yeah it's a wrestling move all right <laughs> wait so what's on the rim of this because yum <laughs> fucking um uh, what, what is it uh chamoy, chamoy? Mm. yeah chamoy. Mm. i've been wondering what chamoy is because i keep seeing people eat it with pickles yeah and now i know mm. people eat chamoy with pickles Everything. and candy it's like a thing to eat pickles with candy now yeah and hot like i've seen people eating like super like red pickles right that's your really look at you damn yeah. that she's like i love that shit god damn girl that was do you do this shit every day what your podcast this? no like 
honestly i'm not gonna lie it's probably the most sporadic podcast like it'll be like three weeks no podcast one week three podcasts like we have mental problems <laughs> wow how exciting that we hear that you literally yeah. said today come on the podcast and i'm yeah, like all right because <laughs> you replied you replied to the dog face one right or something like that mm-hmm. like you were like lmao or something and i was like come on the podcast and like i, I was just like fucking in bed literally i'm just like i gabby hannah responds so i'm like come on the podcast she's like i'm down and I'm, she's like when i'm like today she's like okay i was like what <laughs> <laughs> that's how easy that shit was yeah. because it was just like i mean we i feel like we've talked in the past about obviously like music or being an independent artist touring yeah. fan bases you know online mm-hmm. drama everything and it's like like i told you guys before i don't know that many people that are like peers where like they understand some of the issues like obviously I, mm-hmm. m- people i hang out with is my brother my cousin cole lee so when i'm talking to them about certain things they're just like bitch i don't fucking know i don't fucking i don't know what that yeah. means you know so whenever i talk to other people that have gone through things like that i value that as a friendship as far as like you know what i mean yeah. like thank you for it's the on fucking some advice. like it's like some grown women shit too because yeah. i feel like especially because we're in an industry like where the beanie story like, i told you it was see gonna dude it's so quick though <laughs> so i said why is there so much space in between them i was sitting here <laughs> snow told me to okay, scoot my sit ass here. over no sit here now right. okay fine yeah you can fucking come like because we're gonna end up painting and i need to learn from you because honestly yeah yo he's painted before and 3d printed but i have not yeah so i have to no be honest it's not like i don't really like know what i'm doing I just I saw it. a painting on your fucking TikTok. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do very much research. I, I was like, what is Gabby Hanna up to lately? I see her for her last TikTok painting. I'm like, painting no, is what I, we'll I do. definitely paint, but like it's just I I kind of just like let it go. So we'll just do it. We'll have an enjoyable process. But yo, what's enjoyable th- process? See, yeah. that that's cool yeah, vocabulary. Okay. What? <laughs> that's cool. Like if I'm hanging out with somebody and they're like, look, we'll just do whatever happens, happens, we'll have an enjoyable process. Dude, I'm gonna use that on like a bitch next. I'm like, hey, let's have an enjoyable process. <laughs> When they're like, I don't know if I'm gay. I'll be like, well, look, let's just have an enjoyable process. Oh, do you? That's it. Like, we don't have to. Okay, so. What? Dude, the answer to life itself. What's up, everybody? Oh, my God. (laughs) Ladies, ladies you, you had me dying. This was who was in the story. <laughs> yeah, that's my cousin. You had know. me dying when he was like, "Oh, I'm not one of these hot bitches," and I thought you were talking about her oh, too. No, and no, that was dog face, fool. Oh, I'm oh. dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am not dog face, but shouts out dog face. Yeah, this is so good. Nice. Well, all right. So we're drinking oh both. Of oh my god. Okay, Anna, Gabby. So you fucking. So you do. Okay, you're like I don't drink, but when I drink, I drink. Yeah, it's hard for me. To, that's why I said break it up with a beer, because like it's just so easy to sip. I put water in here too. I think. Oh no, I didn't yet. But <laughs> I <yeah>. did that. <laughs> yeah, because like it's like what do you you do this to it? Like, okay, I'm gonna put this over here, because I'm not gonna you know lie. I, mean? I already feel that. Sh- God for real? damn. I See, I don't. I there's just something wrong with me. Like I'm like sober, 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 and then it's like I'm dizzy. Have you seen that TikTok where it's like, it's like you're an alcoholic? <laughs> and it's like, is that what it is? <laughs> the sound? Yes. You're, you're apparently not an alcoholic because you're I'm, getting I'm alcoholic. pretty sure at this point I've been a few weeks now being like, dude, if I now don't how are you drink. So tipsy? Because that doesn't mean you're not an alcoholic when you're tipsy. You're I still an like, alcoholic. I feel like if you're an like, alcoholic. I wouldn't say I'm an alcoholic. You're just Do you smoke? Drink. To sleep. Bro, I, I've been on a battle with smoking where I keep like giving it up and then being every time i smoke again i'm like oh no i need this my problem is i have no boundaries with myself so Dang. like i i'll it's like oh i'm smoking oh i'm wake and baking now for but two can, people that don't have boundaries we should count how many times we say the word boundaries i'm pretty sure i'm gonna bring it up too <laughs> <laughs> but okay, well, it's real it's real. It is real wait so i'm gonna we should start painting as we're talking but okay so here's my process of painting okay and it's I always start with like words and okay. then like see what kind of comes out of it. So I want to paint something for you. So okay. I need you to like start telling me about your life or just start talking. And then when I think of something to write down, I'll paint that and then I'll start building on top of it. Okay. So like no pressure. Just keep talking. Okay. So <laughs> when I was four. No, I'm just joking. Um, okay. What do you wait? Hold on. <laughs> now do I'm we, nervous. Wait, I got a prize play, or what's the loser? Like this was a competition. Wait, a competition now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just enjoyable process. Oh, no. Remember? That's I, it. Yeah. It's, it's just an, an enjoyable, enjoyable process. process. <laughs> That's what we say. It's an enjoyable We're process. To win. Literally. Oh, no, but... no, it's a contest. Okay, so. No, nah, it won't be a contest. Here. We don't have to make it a contest. Yeah, we got our Crayola paints over here. I'm into that. It's going to be tight. What's your favorite color? As you guys know, everybody on Red. the YouTube, don't get jealous. I'm on my side, bitch, um, TikTok, and we're going to um, promote this a little bit, and then somebody help me pr- push people over to the YouTube, and then we'll just keep this shit going. Sorry, Gabby. I don't, don't want to put this no, just on you. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Oh, my God. 
Bro, my son's school keeps calling me, but should for you what? Answer? It's fucking no. He's home. What are they gonna tell Maybe me? Maybe you should answer. No, I already did it because he fucking he was late t- today. Oh, he Let's already had why. this whole convo, right? He's like, <laughs> I was there five minutes and blah blah blah. I he never, always talks I never like he's met arguing. your son. You didn't? No, when would I met your son, son, dude? He's he's he fucking hilarious. Like he looks like exactly like her, but with dreads. <laughs> he has braids. <laughs> he has braids. braids. Mm-hmm. Does yeah. he come on tour with you still? Um, yeah, here and there. Like, he'll he'll come out, he'll meet me, he'll, we'll hang, and then, like, then he'll be, um, back on his way to school, because clearly he likes to fucking be late. Yeah. Um, I'm tell me what's new in your life, though, because, like, I know some of the, like, some of the updates on the low. Just I'm from, going like, on the quinceañera. I never... I saw that, dude. I never had. Why didn't you have one? How old are you again? Because, We're about the same age, yeah, right? Yeah, but the quinceañera thing isn't, is, is because, uh, my mom made me choose between... Basically, quinceañeras are expensive, so usually they're, like... What like twenty thousand dollars is probably like a what, like a dude? cheap one. No, yeah, I'm saying twenty thousand dollars is probably is cheap. Minimum, Wedding. at least. Yeah. So 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 you're fifteen. You you do this big fucking party, and then it might not even be worth it because what like everybody's is, just gonna that? talk shit in, about you. In Mexican culture, is that like when you're a woman? It's like you're coming to coming to uh, coming of age. Man, white people don't really have one of those because like Jewish people have their mitzvahs. Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess sweet 16. I did have a sweet 16, I guess. But, yeah. But it wasn't like a you're a woman thing. It's more of like a let's have a party kind of thing. Wait, is it? Did it start as a you're a woman thing and then everybody just turns it into let's have a party? I mean, it doesn't every holiday start as a something that matters and then it just turns into let's have a party? Yeah, probably. I think everything is just a party to be the At this point, though, look, the older I get, the more I realize why we should fucking have a party for everything. Like, you know how it's like national fucking hot dog day or whatever? It's like I literally want to decorate for every fucking day because at this point, it's like, bro we're all gonna die that's it yeah. fucking celebrate whatever the fuck we can because look so anyway my mom said you can have a quinceanera or you can get a car so I thought the car would be $20,000 because that's what a quinceanera cost she bought me an $800 car that's so shady it's so but, shady but to be fair would your quinceanera quinceanera have been $20,000 say it you said it. Quinceanera. 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 Okay, Quince. I, just call it quince. The quince. Okay, the quince. I, said it, I said it so wack. It's like sweet 16. I started well, learning Spanish 18. and then um, it stopped. <laughs> oh my God. Well, shit. I mean, you're here, though. I was um, on Duolingo for me. A... So it says the su- sweet 16 is a coming of age party in the oh, United States no, and Canada. Forward. We'll get it closer to you guys. But it does say that it was made after the Mexican quinceanera. Right. Oh, it was? Yeah. Hey, we got fucking copied, bro. I, I need some Obviously, ideas, guys. What, yeah, I know. What should I do? I got I wanna, yellow so far. I want to do it how she color. did it. She did words, and then she starts smearing them. What's the What's the first thing you think of right now? Quince. Write it. All right. There you go. Okay. Quince. And oh. now you have, like, a background. Bam. Quince. You guys ever do that? Like, lick the little pencil? No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's the, first of all, it's a, for sure a paintbrush. We or do like the number two <laughs> pencil, so it's darker. First of all, it's for sure a paintbrush. <laughs> I'm excited to see where you go with this. Oh no, I'm supposed to spell Kinze and I only have room for one letter. No, okay, because you can just like... We yeah, we got real Shasta Mexican. number two pencils, no lead pencil. Now it's just green and red. Now we got real Mexican right now. Or Christmas. Damn. Yeah, are you religious? No. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, because like Christmas is like that was religious, and now it's just a party too for a lot yeah. of people, right? Yeah. No, am I religious? No. Do I, I believe in God? And that's like the big. That's like that's like the answer now, right? Like my my conversation with God doesn't stop. But am I religious? Yeah. No. Really. Yeah. The more I like get like study more religions, the more I'm like, wow, they're all wrong though a little bit. Yeah. But then like the Bible itself literally says man will try to hold on to traditions and religions as opposed to actually like have a relationship with God. Yeah. So he kind of like knew that was gonna happen. Not only that, everything. me and the whole gay thing <laughs> <laughs> kind of puts a little damper on my fucking Catholicism. Oh, you were uh, raised Catholic, same. Yeah, I same. was raised Catholic. I went to uh, what's it called? Um, like Monaguilla. CCD. CCD. I was a Monaguilla. What you call Monaguilla? The well, person like an that altar boy, altar girl. Yeah, I was, an, al- altar I was an altar boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was an altar boy. Vibe. Oh, uh, and now you don't relate to it at all. Um, no. I mean, other than like, I got this more like symbolic, not so much like for anything like Catholic. It was just like my dad yeah. really believed in it. You know, Mary is a super Catholic image for sure. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, in Mexico, the Guadalupe is. But do you know the history of oh, that? Yeah. I'd love to hear it, dude. 
So basically, Guadalupe, okay, growing up, this is how you know, man, I was a free thinker. I was like eight, nine years old. Okay, I always say I was nine years old. I was probably like 11. But anyway, I just always Every revert story. to nine. <laughs> Every story is like, I was either nine, nine. 15, or like 21. No, like, same, that's it. Same though. So anyway, I was like probably 11. So I'm telling my dad, I'm like, who is she? Because my dad really was very Virgen de Guadalupe, right? And I'm like, who is she though? And he's like, that's the Virgen Maria and I'm like no but you said she's Guadalupe so why is she Guadalupe and why is she tan because Maria is like white and she wears blue and Guadalupe wears green and she's she's brown so I'm like who is she mm. he never really had a fucking answer for me now that I realize what really is the fucking deal basically the white people that came and like invaded fucking Mexico were like wanting to turn everybody Catholic you know but they couldn't so then they just made us a symbolic one that kind of looked like us so they were like oh she's technically her but she's brown like you so you want to be this and then yeah. that's it and i was like what that's yeah. the fucking whole reason that we have a whole different virgin and nobody can fucking explain it to me not yeah. pathetic oh, have- okay relax not pathetic but yeah. i went to the um tepeyac where supposedly like she was seen and found or whatever and you know it was it was nice it's still symbolic you still feel like oh wow this is a part of you know history or whatever but like it is a little like tainted you know what i mean i have so many thoughts about it that like i get nervous to voice them a because i don't want to be wrong i don't want to like influence people in weird ways but i want to get into it if i can preface it with like i'm just i'm just spitballing yeah and like don't know anything right okay so I was raised Catholic as well. And um, I I kind of like try to figure out where I am spiritually. Like I know I'm definitely a Jesus girl, like for sure though. I'm like, oh yeah, Jesus is like for sure it. But mm-hmm. like as far as religion, Christianity, Catholicism, like you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, let me like dig into this Mary thing a little bit. And as as much as it is ingrained with me, like I've literally had family members tell me that the fact that I was saying this had Satan jumping for joy. And I was like, that's such an, a wild thing to say. Like, so your family's very religious? Very, very. Yeah. So when I think about like, like gays? Um, we didn't, never specifically talked about it. Oh, I yeah. think that probably from a do I think this is right standpoint, they'd probably say no. Mm. But I wouldn't assume that they were outwardly homophobic. Okay. At least like not to me. You know yeah, what I mean? I so when it comes to Mary specifically, I'm like, okay, even biblically, like by the Bible that Catholics and Christians go by, she's still a woman. She's a sinner. She's blessed and favored. She was, you know, chosen to carry Jesus. So like in that way, she's still favored amongst women. She still was like gifted this amazing opportunity to serve God in that way. Yeah. But she's still a sinner. She's still a woman. She that and that's what makes her so inspiring is like, wow, she was just like everybody else and she was given this like wildly high honor. Mm-hmm. Whereas Catholics kind of push it into like, well actually she was sinless and actually she was a perpetual virgin. And actually her body was assumed into heaven. And that's where I'm like, well that sounds kind of demonic to me. Because that's oh my not God. well that's not real. So like when you like the, the Bible straight up says like talk to Jesus to get to God. The only intermission between or intercessor between God and man is Jesus. So then they added in man Mary, and it's like the Bible straight up says don't talk to dead people the Bible says don't you know pray and chance don't pray to anybody but God yeah but then it's like the Hail Mary so now I'm yeah. praying to Mary to talk to Jesus to talk to God or yeah. can I just talk to God because yeah. uh, because you know what I mean yeah and that's what people say too about like saints and stuff like that yeah which it gets really like that's yeah. where that's where all the fucking questions like come in and then when you're a child I feel like especially I don't know like well, I'll speak on my experience because being raised Mexican by traditional like Catholic, you know, religious fucking Mexicans. Mm. I um every time I ask questions, it was just kind of like that's just the way it is. Just shut up. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like we get gaslit so much when we're growing up. Exactly. There's so many things yeah. that we don't really have answers to, and like we are allowed to ask them. And at least what we could say about nowadays is like people could find like people could um like find the answers on the internet or you know yeah. whatever. You can fucking figure out your own fucking whatever. But when we was little, bro, like what the fuck when you just get told shut up and that's what it is you're like exactly that's it like i wrote a song called everything makes sense and it was actually at the beginning of what i would consider like the biggest portion or the awakening of my kind of spiritual awakening where i'm like what do i actually believe because i went so much of my life just ignoring it because i'm like i was so overwhelmed by the catholic rules where it was like it just none of it just made sense to me and i was like this all feels so hypocritical that i i'm like overwhelmed by the amount of information i have to sift through so finally as an adult i was like 
all right, let me see like what I actually believe and what I don't and started asking questions. And I wrote a song about it where it was just like, uh, what's it really matter anyway? Nothing ever stays every time I, or every question turns into a long lecture making me think that thinking isn't good for me or something like that. Yeah. It's like, shouldn't I be asking these questions? And yeah. then like, I feel like God even calls us to have these conversations where he's like, I want you to have these conversations in good faith. Like if you enter a conversation with humility and genuinely trying to learn and explore and everybody humbles themselves enough to be like, oh, I could be wrong here. Yeah. Cause like straight up, like we're not supposed to be, the Bible says don't call any man father and the Catholic church is just straight up. Like, and I still consider myself Catholic. I just don't yeah. agree with everything I do. How about daddy? What, calling God daddy? <laughs> no, I'm saying, you said don't call any man father. Right. I'm just like, without you, you know I what mean, I mean? daddy's fine. I mean, yeah. I mean, even like among lesbians, you know, it says don't call any man father, yeah, but you can exactly. call a lesbian exactly. daddy. Exactly. Very much allowed. Also, you know, like depending on, you know, the Bible never mentioned anything about women on women. So, hey, ladies. <laughs> To oh, be honest, pop. no, I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Literally, I should pray after this because what the fuck? <laughs> no, but I think it is interesting. I think you raise a good point of just like we should be asking questions, we should be having conversations because when you don't, that's when we fall into the same patterns of like, like when Jesus went into the temples and he started flipping tables because he was like, yo, the Pharisees are all, and those were like the religious leaders at the time. He's like, you guys are all hypocrites. You're not even following the law of like the jewish people so like we're doing it again literally like we have all these like false idols and statues and like like jesus wouldn't be cool with this god wouldn't be cool with this but people will just repeat their own mistakes and they have to learn on their own you know yeah no i feel that and, <laughs> anyway. and at the end of the day we're all fucking idiots just walking around this earth we think we think we know what the fuck we're doing next week we realize we fucking don't we make mistakes the only difference is that a lot of mind. people get to make all those mistakes privately we sometimes make those mistakes publicly and then there's a lot more stress to it but other yeah. than that we're all the fucking same just walking around hoping that whatever we were taught is right because if it wasn't we're not gonna find out till it's too fucking late and that yeah. is the saddest story ever imagine all this shit is really true and then it's like i do go to hell for being gay or yeah, having I, tattoos I'll i'm cry fucked. for the rest yeah. of my life God, cry for the rest of my life god is just so much more merciful and forgiving than that too like he really is that's that's the thing like Everybody listening. That looks like, like Picasso. <laughs> Literally, this looks it like just fucking smears. dumb. This is what she said. Looks like Picasso, deadass. Well, I'm saying like from the side, like it's just yeah, it's like it's like smooth smear. Look, Yayo's over there doing a good. Look, he's well, doing a gradient. Can I contribute? Gradient. Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. I still haven't figured out what I'm painting. I'm just <laughs> going. So this is a please, collab. guys, I I please you guys to let me know what to paint. And I, I, I please you guys. I Pink elephant. That's all. I feel like that's the only thing in my mind right now. This was a dumb sweater to wear. I feel like oh I'm my getting gosh. paint all yeah, over the... Oh, it's okay. It's Crayola children's paint. So yeah, you, you literally... We can literally dip ourselves in it, take a shower, and it'll be gone. Yeah, this is Crayola, oh, baby. Nice. I do want to paint something inspired by this conversation, though. Okay. And I will. I, I'm... I'm can I put paint on your table? Because it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Vibe. Anyway, what else is new? So we you, started you know, off on Fuck a... my table. Fuck my house. You know, just <laughs> fucking paint. As a matter of fact, if you want to paint my house, that would be great. I just, want to paint I just painted my house fucking walls? purple, bro. My entire nice. neighborhood purple. is pissed. Yeah, it's like super Your neighborhood's pissed. Really? Like, Do you have an HOA? Purple? Are they mad? No, they're, it's just like suburbia. Dude, I've been dying to see your property since you were on my podcast that never aired. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> I was because on your podcast that never aired. you told me about how you just like live on a fucking little, like all your family's just here. And yeah, are. Dude, it's well, so not tight. all my family. I mean, some of my family, we don't, we definitely you will never not. talk to again. Really? But, um, Why? Yeah, but like, that's Can my cousin. That? Thank you. That's my cousin. That's my brother. Um, my son's here. You know, that's his girl. Like, not my, he's not my, my son's girl. He's his girl. Um, just every, you know, yeah, like my friends. We're out here. What it is, is like, look, all I wanted is to have a safe place where we know we oh, won't work. be on it. homeless. On it. You feel me? Yeah. Like, that's it. Like, yeah. can we at least have a bare minimum where it's like, hey, bro, worst case scenario, everybody's getting a sleeping bag and we all chill in here. That's it. And I think that comes from trauma, obviously, and from yeah. being always kind of like bouncing around. So I wanted a little safe haven for myself and for my loved ones. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. Like, I would like to know how to plant better plants. I heard just heard about microgreens and the fact that they are... What is it? Seven times more nutrients than the fucking... I just this yeah, 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 That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Literally, because I, I was telling this girl, and I was like, they're seven, they're sometimes more uh, more nutrient than their, than their uh, 
green counterparts and then i'm like that's exactly what he says every fucking post literally so that's how i learned it yo so, i followed him right away but then i like immediately kind of regretted it because he gets he's so intense bro really yeah he's, what it scares you is oh wait dream? can i tell you something else that really scared me today is what? i was talking to my sister and yo sister sorry this is like oh i have five sisters and a brother holy shit Whoa. Oh, I'm big man. <laughs> oh, that's Catholic. cool <laughs> um so my sister was telling me because I, I was like you know i want to buy more period underwear sorry period. but they're dude, period they're, underwear they rock they what really the fuck rock. is that so they're basically like underwear that you wear on your period that absorb the blood and diapers. straight up they're uh, but they're awesome they're not diapers. i have thong ones so it's only just like padding there and honestly you don't even realize it like it really absorbs it really well and it's i'm so over tampon no, no no it's really not like tampons are way more gross to me and like uncomfortable because like they leak <laughs> or like whatever and then um pads like it's not even a question i'm not doing that at all okay so then wait, I wait the what's the difference between pads and those underwear that it's well, they in, just in feel the like underwear? underwear like you can definitely like feel it a little but only when you're holding it in your hands when you're actually wearing them you can't really feel it are like, they disposable really. no you just wash them oh like i usually rinse them in the shower with me and then just put them in the wash with the rest of it mm -hmm. but i was like okay like tampons are like really stressing me out i tried to diva cup for a half a second i was like nope i tried the disc for a half a second i was like nope so then you're I was brave like, as fuck diva cup that's I, brave. I, I never actually put it inside me because I was just like, this doesn't make sense to me. And then I was thinking, like, if I'm in public, like, what do you I do? You don't pull up a diva cup. Oh, well, I, I mean, I pulled up the period underwear, but... Well, put up, pull up period underwear that are, like, thongs. Hey, look, they those, don't look like that. The, wait, those period like that. underwear got fucking butt pads on, man. Y'all cheating. <laughs> These bitches are like, I'm just on my period. It's like, no, True. shorty look thick in the club. <laughs> now I'm really? mad for two reasons. You was looking thick in the club and you're on your period. What the fuck are we about to do right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> you're at her crib like, fuck, my phone died. I need an Uber. <laughs> Look up the period under th underwear thong though, cause it. Oh, so anyway, the reason I bring it up is because see those they like look nice, like and they really do. They work. Okay, like, for those real. are nice. And you don't have to worry about like spilling over. You don't have to worry about leaking. What like, are they I work made out of? So, I'm not sure, but thinks the original brand who was like the big one on the scene that was like period underwear. Apparently, they're in period, a class. Uh, period. <laughs> right. They're in a class action lawsuit because apparently their underwear were toxic. And I was like, hold yeah, on, what does man. that mean? And then my sister was we like, oh, know. yeah, like a lot of our clothes are toxic. So like if you look at the labels and see what's in them, our skin is our biggest organ. So we're absorbing toxins. So I'm like, damn, OK, so our food is poison. The air is poison. The water is poison. Literally already our fucking clothes are poison. So now I'm just like, what? what's the point, bro? Like, literally, what is the point? Might as well drink our poison. Hey, if we're going to have any poison. <laughs> Cheers, Might to as well that. Cheers to that. Oh, did I just paint your... I can't hear your microphone. Sorry, right, we'll, we'll sign in and be like, Gabby Hanna ruined our studio. No, just was this yours and I took it or did you make it for no, me? No, I, was, I wasn't going to drink that today because I already Sorry. had enough uh, chili and then my heartburn started acting mm. up. <clears throat> I got to like microdose it. I get it. Microdose chili. Does yeah. anyone have a pen or like a marker? Yeah. Uh, there's, there's like sharpies and shit. A big, a big one. Hold on. I mean, I don't know if you need a big but one. yeah. What's so, up with your music? What's going on? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. It's like, what's going on? So what the fuck is going on with your music? No. Um, what's going like, on? Is there anything like exciting going on right now that you want to let your hype about? Um, tour. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I just mean, announced, you know, tour. yeah, I announced the, the Keen Said tour, and then um, I have a bunch yes. of new songs. Are I made a bunch good? of new songs with this with my friend Santa Fe Clan, who's like one of the biggest artists in Mexico. And I got a lot of cool stuff coming out with him. That's the last music video that I dropped was Bajala with him. And then I dropped L the the Pina video. You know Lauren Haregi? Did you see us almost kiss, but we didn't kiss? Which why didn't you? Everybody, I know that's literally what all her fan base. Everybody, it's annoying. Yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, that's yeah. How I feel. But, See, see, guys, why I did, I do have a friendship with her is because, and mind you, like, we don't talk all the time. Like, I feel like, what, we talked like a year ago or something? But I'm just saying, like, I do like that she doesn't really, she's just like, that's annoying. <laughs> why didn't you kiss her? <laughs> I mean, kiss, why not? Kiss, kiss. I feel like you guys have chemistry. She's bi, right? Yeah. Or did you just Google me? Yeah, I'm going to try to paint you. I don't know if it's going to work out, so don't get too, like. You're going to paint me? Oh, my God. This can go really bad. I mean, yeah, it will for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, it's gonna be a Picasso. I'm gonna paint a Picasso version. No, again. I'm gonna cry. Why? Why are you fucking painting me? Why wouldn't I? Is that? I think it'll be cute with a beanie. Was it orange? It was orange. Okay, perfect. You're gonna orange. You're gonna paint the orange beanie. Yeah. Wait, oh, I love your hair color by the way, because it was magenta for a minute. Yeah. Is this a wig? Yeah. You guys saw magenta underneath? Yeah. When did you start wearing wigs like that? 
like a year and a half, two years ago. I feel like every time I see you, you still have your magenta hair. Yeah, when I'm in a bun. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. If yeah. I if I've ever been in a bun, it's just me being a boy. When well, I have a wig, I'm trying to be a girl. Try to be a girl for you today. You know, so we can have girl talk. <gasps> I always that's see why, you like a girl, though. I've never that's seen why you not. Like when we a girl. had our conversation, you know what I mean. You want to start off with the with the period conversation. Period. Ah, uh, period. Oh, it's because I'm a girl today, bitch. <laughs> I'm wearing a dress later on. I feel like my quince. My masculine energy has been like out full force this year. Oh shoot. Yeah. I'm gonna tell, tell me. Ab- tell me about neck, that, bro. I just. I don't know. I just like. I think it started in COVID. Whenever I couldn't get my nails done, and I have fake nails on because my neighbor came over with press ons, mm-hmm. and I was like, "All right, let me get into you can, that." You can do press ons like you do, they don't fall off or nothing. No, they do all the time. Oh, I got okay. a little glue in my purse. I just glued on this thumb right before I came because. Okay, kept, nice. Yeah, it keeps popping off. But yeah, I just <laughs> felt like super masculine. I feel like I had to hide my feminine energy a little little bit because I felt like I always had to be defending myself and I was kind of protecting myself in a way yeah and then I went and got my neck tattooed and I was like well that's hella fucking masculine I feel like you have neck tattoos but you also yeah. have masculine energy too yeah well you guys you guys the thing about y'all is that when you're a man people immediately just give you all this credit for having like this energy that a lot of men don't actually fucking have there's yeah. men that are really True. fucking beta you know what i mean as yeah. far as like shit i've so. dated a lot of betas and i thought that i liked betas i thought that was kind of like my lane but no nobody no girl wants a beta period some girls do i what, think there's a lot a of girls there's some girls that are like very like mad like <gasps> pretty uh it's going but it's not going no it is it's really, really? pretty Thank just blend it out a little bit maybe like well Right here is gonna. I'm gonna put a truck. <gasps> a truck? Yeah. I'm like talking to a kid. I'm like, Ooh, a truck? <laughs> Give me a truck. Good job. What kind of truck? We're so proud a of you. A 1994 Chevy Silverado, 150 thousand. <laughs> Whoa. Chevy. Is that how much it costs? He's gonna get a no, Chevy. No, that's the type. Oh. I don't know shit about cars, dude. I haven't bought me a either. car I just in pretend. a long time. My last car, I won in a dance competition, and I haven't replaced it. What? So I have a 2016. You won a, a car a in a car? dance competition? Yeah, but like it's not as impressive as it The sounds. rich get richer. No, I'm just joking. Low key, but it was like a... <laughs> 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 but really, it was like a YouTuber dance competition where I feel like I was kind of primed to win. And like to win, you had to be like barely impressive. So like it, it's not as exciting as it I sounds. I mean, give yourself credit. You won. Yeah, I did definitely win. I had a good partner, too. Good so job. Thank you for the... Thank you for the applause. Yeah. Appreciate, appreciate. We out here. What do you drive, Snow? Are you a flexer? A flexer finesser? Yeah. No, so I crashed my Tesla Model X Plaid. Why? <laughs> um, <I'm an> idiot. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Um, yeah, that was not a good idea. How did you um, do it? And then, <laughs> we're not gonna get into the details. Sandy. However. Damn, were you drunk? Um, no, <laughs> I wasn't. Was it a fight? But, um, oh my God, bitch, if you start talking to me about <laughs> shit I don't want to talk about, I'm gonna talk to you about shit you don't want to talk about. Okay, and okay, let's, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> um, no, because it wasn't necessarily me, but, yeah, you know, whatever. Okay, so, anyway point is my car is getting fixed it is getting fixed and the part just came on the 24th so i think it's gonna i think it'll be there this was it's fine yeah no no nine months of no car paying the fucking car b- trust me tesla fuck you instead of fucking buying twitter and doing all the stupid shit you were doing elon musk why weren't you fucking getting my part you fucking bitch low key because i gotta import Bro. it from mexico is it actually why <laughs> i know yeah. we're like <laughs> dang that sucks dude that's so long without a car you've just been ubering no, actually, I'm very lucky to have really great great friends, and I've borrowed a car from somebody. That's nice. Yeah, they. She's all, very awesome. They all like live. I feel like you have so many people living on this little property. How many people live on this property? Oh my gosh. Uh, like Two, wait. Three, four, five, six, seven, he got it. Twenty one. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, so how many people actually live on this property? Yeah. Three, five. Seven. No, because because they go back and forth. That's not me. There's s- three with you. With me, you Go-ba. two. And Puma. Six. How many? Why did I do this? <laughs> Wait. That's still the that is six. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this adios motherfucker got me adios. <laughs> <laughs> How like, are you there's me? three yeah. and then there's three. This is almost two handfuls. <laughs> it's like ET. <laughs> I literally had dinosaur hands for a second. Just to even out the same yeah. fucking yeah. Right, six. See, I, this is where I get what where I'm any? drinking, where I feel like I gotta chug something to like catch up to everything. You wanna chug a beer? Energy. Kinda, should I? Uh, yeah, you have a shotgun to beer? All You're right. white. Tr- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll do one right. One, two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And I'm going to continue to sip on this baddie, too. But I finished this. Dude, you took, like, two sips. 
No, I Dude, poured a lot of water in it. This is like eight ounces of liquid. How does it take you so long to get through? You want because one? I'm huh? scared that I'm gonna get really drunk. What's up? Well, I guess the point of drinking is it to get drunk. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, Are you? Oh, that's yours. Oh, bye. You want? Mm. You already have that one. Which I drink this. Same, but see, this is my problem with drinking is I'm just like, if I don't drink fast, I'm not drunk, and then like it, I drink fast and then I get too drunk. But if I just sip it, then I don't feel anything at all. But you're not yeah. going to sip that By the way, can we give a shout out to our moderators on fucking YouTube? And I'm assuming on TikTok because somebody just said the moderators are keeping these comments clean. Y'all motherfuckers are working overtime. Thank you very much for keeping it positive, keeping it good. As you guys know, I want everybody always to be able to come to this podcast and feel safe, happy, everything. And also me. I mean, for all I know, people are talking shit about me. Like fucking, you know what I mean? Help a bitch out. They're like, Snow, you're fucking ugly. You can leave that. But if they're like, you know, some stupid shit. Oh, People so always man. tell me that I need mods. They say you're cool. There you go. And I never get mods because I just, I don't read the chat really anyways, but I, I feel like the more comments, the better anyways. So I'm just True. like, whatever, just let it go. True. But with me, I do read the comments because I do like, we're different. Like you're mad famous. Me, I have a closer knit following where like there is like that engagement. No, I feel like. So I talk to them. Mm, I think you. I think you might be more famous than me. Like, if no. we're, like, looking... Because I wouldn't... No, I guess... I think this year is the first year to be like, oh, yeah, I guess I am famous. Because, like, being an internet person... You've been fucking mad famous forever. What are you talking about? Mm, I don't feel that, that way. I don't feel that way. You literally... I feel like oh my god in, first I'm of all my sorry. cousin's over there fucking deflating <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about fame and he's like what? Oh, he typical man though two girls you talking didn't. about our success and he's like what? this is what I fucking bring no, to the combo that wasn't because of your success that was because of of Modelo time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you did say you were gonna chug a beer with him did you chug yours? no, no I took oh. some hard sips though hard sips it's kind of hard because it's fucking cold I got a two brain freezes Beer is refreshing. <laughs> you got that dual brain? Um, Beer is refreshing. So once I tell Gabby to stay off her phone, I'm actually looking at a picture oh, yeah. of snow because I'm trying to paint a picture of snow. So yeah. I'm not I'm not on I'm not texting. Yeah. I'm just staring at your face. She's like, Ugh, so anyway, snow, whatever. She's no oh, she's staring shit. At it's so watery. Oh shoot. <laughs> That's a whole lot of orange on me. It's a lot of orange. I was trying to make your beanie. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Make like a 3D beanie. Make it like bump like a like like be super big. We'll let we'll leave it drying for like days. Yeah, it would take literally days. Okay, that's some yeah. I'll, make, I'll it make it a little thick, but this is this is she a lot thick. thick. Make me a yeah. thick beanie. That's some. She's gonna make me a Picasso yeah, orange beanie. I'm trying. I have to keep turning it. Down. The paint that I, I use usually, usually like it dries a lot quicker, so I'm trying to figure out what I can accomplish in the time that we're together that actually is like dried and like. I like that. Look at my eyeballs. Yo, yeah. you're artsy, bro. I'm a little artsy. Yo, you're Dude, fucking killing. I think killing. that's my like next. Move. Thank you. I think that's my next move in life because I've been trying to figure out like Loki. I've been retired for a minute and people are always asking me like what do you do and I'm like to be honest I'm just like living my life but it's been hard to like enjoy it because I'm like I feel like I should be doing something so I'm finally at this point where I'm like oh no I'm just gonna like vibe and have fun and enjoy my life again I want to do that it's not I think you can I want like like I want to enjoy my life yeah it's hard it is hard why don't you enjoy your life right now (sighs) I mean I do you know, it's like one of those things. I mean, it's like you, you, you enjoy your life. Imagine this the exact moment the podcast turns. <laughs> we start crying. Why not? Change the lighting. Let's make it dramatic. Dude, Everybody honestly, cry. Um, yeah. But um, I think what it is, I mean, I think I went through a lot and I, it was a big change. I obviously was ready to like settle down and fiance and everything and like got a ranch and like farm animals and everything and it's like obviously i yeah. was expecting things to go a certain way it didn't go that way so now it's like i'm kind of spit out to being single you know and i don't i've never been single this is as long as i've been single which is like mm, 10 so months now that, i was gonna say it's not even been that long well 10 months i mean that's really? not that long oh my god y'all out here surviving <laughs> god damn yeah. i know people that are like i've been single for five years i'm like <laughs> fuck I'm definitely staying but single what does until single... I find that, like... Okay, but are you dating or are you just single? I'm single. Like, you don't date at all? No. You don't text nobody good morning or good night? No. No, Yay. I'm not going on dates. Like, I'm not on apps. I'm I'm genuinely waiting for the person who, like, To comes... just stumble? Yeah. Because I do believe that's in that. That's cool. I think that's real. When you give yourself the patience and, like, truly, like, I don't just know. Trust Maybe God. I'm having an existential crisis where I'm like, bro, the thing is that whoever I end up with next, like, that's probably my person for life. Like, exactly. we're for life. Exactly that. So now, exactly right now, that. I'm like, because I never, bro, I got married at 19. 
Yeah. I got married at 19, had the whole baby house, dog, fucking married life. Yeah. And then I got into another relationship and another long-term relationship. And then that's it. I never really dated, never really had fun. So this is the first time that I'm like being able, and especially had fun, like fully being fully out. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, now it's like, yeah. okay, well, I need to know what the fuck. People are mad that I got a type. I'm sorry. I do got a type. Yeah. But, you know, who knows? Maybe I end up not marrying somebody that is like, the specific type I date right now yeah. I don't fucking know what you I'm gonna do you might marry a dude oh my god first of all that's scary as fuck don't you bring might. that type of fucking ne- negative energy around here you're really that Aquarius that's negative I'm energy I'm Aquarius see I told you Oh my gosh, wasn't she just in her masculine energy? Me and Gabby yeah. Hanna are getting married. No, I'm just joking. There you go, brother. Never know. <laughs> never know. Never know. That's hilarious. But you were attracted to men once. You never know that about that either. I uh, mean, attractive. I'm attracted? I mean, you married one. You had a baby with one. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, it had to be something I there. I mean, something happened for sure. I mean, yeah. but then again, like I've said before, it's like if you were like, we're always eating hamburger helper and you fucking love that shit and then all of a sudden you eat like steak and you're like, hey, I love this. Yeah. But, you know, true. I Here and there, I've had made a hamburger, hamburger helper on a Thursday. Yeah. You're, no. You'll find whoever it is when you're meant to, but don't forget to enjoy the single part, which you are right now. But also, like, not even the dating part, but the, like, being alone with yourself and being happy and content with that, because it's yeah. hard to get to that point. Yeah. But when you get to that point where you're just like, oh, no, I'm enjoying the singlehood. Like, what I realized about myself... Oh, it's a hood now? Hey, you rep that shit? <laughs> right? You rep that shit? Like, what I realized with me was, like, I, I felt more so the the pressure of oh i'm 31 and i'm single and people are judging me as like a single woman and this is embarrassing i don't have a husband i don't have kids whatever and then i realized wait a minute i love my alone time i'm an artist i like to create i like my time and space i like yeah. to just sit by myself and think and hang out with my pets and like just enjoy the fucking quiet and when i find my person like i'm only 30 i'm gonna live to be 111 years old oh, oh shit you know what i mean so like i got another are you asian? how many years <laughs> do asian people live longer yeah. Yes. For real? For rice. How much longer? <laughs> for real? For rice. 109, 110. First of all, guys, anything my cousin Yeo says, please it's fact facts. check on your own. <laughs> no, well, isn't there like a place in the world where people generally yeah. live? Taiwan. I think it's... I want to be surprised at people in Singapore. I'm 40 and I'm single. All right, Dara, we're going to get you a date, baby girl. Hey. Anybody looking for a 40-year-old girl <laughs> that's single? Dara is available. Okay, all right. Add Dara, please. And please Radio don't be Dara. doing no, no creepy stuff. Send picture first and see yeah. if you like each other. <laughs> and if so, then go on a date. No, don't be like doing other stuff. Are you on I'm apps? Um, first of all, Gabby, I'm supposed to interview you. No, I'm oh. just joking. No, 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 I'm just kidding. But honestly, I, I feel you on that alone thing. What I think what really happened to me first was like, what, like first of all, like we broke up and then immediately I was on tour for like two months. So it's like every single day I'm like, on tour, meet and greet, like, you know, yeah. I've meet and greet, sound check, fucking, you know, all that shit. So yeah. there's that. And then I come home, I think for like a couple weeks, get to enjoy my son, and then I go to Europe for a fucking month. So it's like tour over there. So it's just, I've just been constantly busy as fuck because as you know, like we can get caught up in our own rat race. Like yeah. as an independent artist, if I don't fucking work, if I don't yeah. constantly put output something like yeah. i'm not you know what i mean i'm not growing i'm not and in this shit if you're not growing you're fucking you know if you're stagnant you fucking fall off okay so, i'm feeling called out and threatened right what? now no no <laughs> bitch because that's what i'm saying you've been popping since vine bitch like you've been in a different i'm sure you've done so much shit that like i've never done like my shit been like this slowly you know what I mean? Like, there was times yeah. when people probably thought I was something, but, like, Mexicans don't get that many opportunities, like, sponsorships and endorsements and shit. Like, I never yeah. seen that shit. So, it's just been very hard to fucking get there. But now, I can tell you that in the last couple months, I've been able to, like, you know, go to the mall by myself, you know, go to the fucking optometrist by myself, like, eat, like, hang out, like, fucking, you know, mm-hmm. go out with my son, like, make sure that I spend quality time with him and mm-hmm. him only, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, we go, we go out and do, do things. So I do agree with the fact that you start falling in love with that alone time. Yeah. Um, or like, for example, if I'm in my room and I'm by myself and I'm like vibing, like, if I think of the fact that, like, somebody could come over, I'm like, eh, I'm kind of having a good time right now. Like, I'm, like, watching mm-hmm. TV. I'm, like, you know what I mean? Like, doing a face mask, doing whatever I want to do. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to worry about anybody's opinion or talking or are they hungry? Are they comfortable? Are they... I'm just, like, chilling. Yeah. So, there is that, you know? Good. Um, yeah. And especially on the ranch, like, you know? Like, you never know what the fuck is going to happen. We Our freaking goats had three three kids, like, 
out of nowhere and now we have fucking five goats five. i love that they're actually called kids too yeah with goats fucking kids make it cute <laughs> Mega see the Dang, that's rude. Snow needs water. Don't you dare call me a thirsty. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Maybe you're just calling me crusty. There's that too. They're probably just like macaron some cardinal. You're doing so good. <gasps> I'm not even Thanks. like gassing you. That's okay. Can you show them a little preview? Oh, I thought you said I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going with that. I was like, true. Oh. Yeah, it, looks, it looks pretty rad. Dude, that shit is so cool. Oh. The eyes are getting a little bit sketchy, but we'll get there. Cute. We'll get there. I love that. I like the beanie. I love the beanie. Oh, the texture. <laughs> the, applause. the detail on the, on the beanie. The deets. Yeah, she's definitely winning because we... Because even when I go I shopping, if I go for a beanie nothing. and a beanie has that type of like the that, that that's a classy beanie that the bitches love those type of beanies it's the kind that got snatched that night yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> by the way do you guys okay i won't tell okay. how the whole night went but the you do you know the who, person who snatched my beanie the person who snatched my beanie was a girl that was getting pulled in different directions by these dudes and she's like stop stop help i fucking tried to help this bitch literally T that's what happened i forgot about that this bitch is literally saying like help like you know she's you know whatever the fuck i don't know exactly why she was saying help but she was saying help i'm looking at her getting pulled by these fucking dudes so i go yo hey man let her go like blah blah, blah. i start arguing with the dude somewhere in between me arguing with the dudes this bitch turns around and thinks I'm the problem. And I'm like, you were just saying help, bitch. Like, what are you talking about? She's like, fucking leave us alone. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? She wanted the attention. I was like, <laughs> what are you, what? This bitch walks up to me and it was so stupid too. The way I think I was in shock because I literally just stood there and she goes, <laughs> I've never, I've never been disrespected that slowly <laughs> in my life. That was fucked up. So yeah. I was just in shock. Did I, I come like, out myself that night to meet you guys? I think I did. Mm -hmm. I just came out by myself and I was just like, here I am. I'm at the fucking Abbey. Yeah, we were just taking <laughs> shots. We were just taking shots. It was cool. You know, there was other parts of the night that obviously were fucked off. Yeah, but like, that was part of it. Though. Three different parts. But yeah, my beanie going missing. I was just like, look at the part we're still talking about. The that beanie. Was, that was the best part of the night. You yeah, I, I think mean, when you think about it. Yeah, I think I think me getting my beanie snatched and disrespected by somebody as slowly as you can ever imagine is like, wow. Yeah. But you know, that's some of these bitches too, these pick me ass bitches. Like you'd rather take the side of the guys that are manhandling you than somebody who literally like I just walked up because I thought a girl needed help. Like I'm trying to fucking yeah. that's it. But I guess Bro, bitch, I don't go out in Hollywood anymore. Like straight up one it's crazy how much people are just like doing coke on a Tuesday all the time. Bro Club going up. On a Tuesday, like the, for real. I feel you. <laughs> Here we are on a Tuesday. Also, is it I'm Tuesday? Dead. Today's Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday. We're just painting though. Wednesday. Today's hump day. I love the zoom ins. Like, do you, is that a preset zoom in or no. how does that? So you just like focus. I'm just on pressing. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's so lit. I wish that I had like the team and the capacity to do shit like this for me because I would love to do things. And be more active. I haven't worked in like two the years. The team, dude. it's my brother, my cousin, <laughs> me, and uh, we're painting. That's a team. We are your team. So yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, team? but I'm saying like you literally p can pull together two fucking friends and y'all can, like, you know what I mean? Like, what do you mean you don't have a team? That like can do like this and is like available once a week or whenever to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. like I had it for a minute. The hummies. It wasn't for me though. I don't think it's my calling in life. And oh, I, like potting? I'm not cheating. Potting? Like podcasting? Oh, yeah, that, just, like, in general, I don't know, dude. I've been, like, really stuck, to be honest. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. I do think it's art. Like, I think that my visual art, I think I should be doing, like, prints and things like that. Yeah, But I cool. think song, oops, I think songwriting always, but I don't think that, I, I would rather be a songwriter than an artist at this point 100%, in my life. 100%. Sure. I would love to do that shit, too. Every yeah. time I linked up with, with, with songwriters, they always wanted to be an artist, and I was like, I want to be you. Like, I want to be a writer. And they'd be like, no, you get the spotlight. And I'm like, bro, it I is not that fucking cracked up yeah. to me. Like, I actually just enjoy making the art, and the only way that I've been able to do it so far is because I was an influencer who could then become an artist. Yeah. But, like, I'm, I'm not cut out for the job of fame. Like, I yeah. think that I've seen and we've seen a billion times, like, oh, no, I, it's not meant for me. Like, I, I get that. Yeah. Like, I like I like having a voice. I like having an influence. I like having a platform. Yeah. But, like, even, like, I printed out these posters of my album cover or, like, a different photo shoot for my album. And, like, 
never sold any of them because it was just like a picture of me and i was like this feels so fucking uncomfortable for me to just be like buy this picture of me and hang it on your wall (laughs) you know what i mean i feel that because that's how i felt for a long time like i felt like i had to do free meet and greets for like so many fucking years because i was like well these people are supporting my art so i should be like you know like i should meet them if they want to meet me like you know like but then i realized there was a lot of fans that like literally if like the guy count my guy counterparts they yeah. would support the fuck you know what i mean like th- those yeah. guys would charge them 250 dollars to meet them and motherfuckers was like loving them they're like he's yeah. so humble oh my god i right. love him but it's like i'm meeting you for free and like literally don't even get a fucking post so i was like okay at some point i also have to fucking value what the fuck i've yeah. been doing but yeah. i feel you that about the fame thing because also we're women and people i think it's so much easier for women to hate on women and for men to hate women yeah. than dudes there's yeah. the level of disrespect that people will fucking take out on a woman that they wouldn't fucking take out on a man and that's not just some feminist combo like i don't you know i don't have this fucking hatred towards men it just is a fact and if i sat here and ignored it then i would be being like doing myself a disservice so let's just know that that's what it is which is also why i get a male manager or fucking you know somebody who's gonna go and be my fucking representative like there you want to fucking talk to a dude talk to that guy you want to talk to a dude talk to my brother you know do all that shit but it's like whoa cool donkey that is really good whoa it's not that good bro that's tight that's super dope into that I actually, I want to wipe off his face and wait for it to dry so I can use a Sharpie like that because that was like... I'm dead. Oh. This is Did how you, I do it always, I thought though. she was going to be like, I'm going to wipe off his face and I'm going to draw that donkey. I'm like, no. damn, the, pa- <laughs> the portrait of me is uh, gone. No, I'm still doing a picture of you, but like, we'll just have all these like smears going on, which is how I paint anyways in the first place. It's just like a bunch of smears and then it turns into <laughs> something at the end. But I don't love the color that it created, but it's fine. We roll. Okay. We roll. And then it was looking cool and I was like... No, but your face was like it was too long and like squished, so I needed to like, long spread and squished. Out. Oh, it was it was oh it was like squished this direction oh, okay. because I was painting from this angle, whereas like I should have been more like on top of it. So now I can like better assess the situation. Nice. I mean, well, the thing about paint is you just keep on fucking piling it on, don't don't you? Exactly. It's like at some point you you pretty much just are finished when you just stop painting literally that like when you like it you're done yeah. painting is actually substantially in my opinion easier than drawing like people will get more really impressed by paint but it's easier than drawing because you can just like keep layering it and mm-hmm. then the cool thing about it too is it has a natural texture to it so like if you're painting hands for example if you're trying to draw it you have to try to mimic the shape of a hand whereas if you're painting you can literally layer the finger on top of the palm that you just painted and it naturally creates the dimension as opposed to like with drawing, you have to like try to do the exact angle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense? I mean, yeah. But I mean, but it seems like you've been doing this a lot longer than like I don't know. The like f- two years, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking dope. Thank Fuck, you. I'm, I have never fucking painted since I was a little kid, which is why my painting looks like a fucking child made it. It's cute. It's the ILA. <laughs> the I like picture. it. I think it's, it's a cute. baby. It is a baby. It's a baby. Maybe this is my future. Would you I'm have another have baby? A baby? Yeah. I'm going to freeze my eggs. You just made a baby right there. I just made a baby right there. If making making a baby for lesbians was as easy as it is for you fucking guys, I'd have a billion babies. I'd have mad baby mamas. If you're going to freeze your eggs, you got to get on that. Yeah, bitch. Yes, we got it. (laughs) (laughs) The fuck? Damn, you're depressing me. No. You're like, like, time's ticking. I'm like, bitch, (laughs) that's why I'm having an existential crisis. No, don't have the crisis. Because, like, my biological clock kicks too. But, like, if you're already like, no, I'm definitely freezing my eggs, you might as well do it now. Well, yeah, that's, that's literally what I'm doing. Like, uh, I just had the conversation um, with my friend who's also doing it. So now we're just going to be on a journey together. But, like, she has a husband, obviously. She also offered me her husband's sperm, which I am okay on. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's so but awkward. <laughs> I'm like, probably not. She's like, she was giving me reasons. She's like, look, he's tall. He's this. He's that. I'm like, look, I don't. Then also, that you know what I mean? Like, my like my other son's going to be kind of short. So it's like, am I really trying to have, like, one, like, super tall kid? And then the other one, like, I don't want him to make him feel bad. So like, I kind of think maybe we should be around the same. You know, dunk on him? Like, you don't want your little brother to fucking dunk on you. So I'm like, listen, now I got all these thoughts in my head like what ethnicity like what am i what am i gonna do can i select the gender like can i raise a kid by myself do i want to have a kid by myself or with a friend because i'm not gonna count on me falling in love to have a kid clearly i have to have a kid asap probably Mm. you know what i mean Mm. so now i'm just like all these things not asap you just said you just said it's my time's ticking what what i'm saying is like 
And solo tattoos are real. For a no, second, yeah. I thought they weren't. No, they are. But wait, real this quick. Time. Let me spe- let me specify what I have said. So to me, like, it, we're at an age specifically where, like, we can have kids into our 40s if we want. That's not a problem. Yeah. But if you already know you're freezing your eggs, mm-hmm. like, I'm not freezing my eggs. So I'm just like, I either I have kids on time or I don't. If I was would freezing you be okay my with eggs, not? I would be okay with fostering or adopting. I would mm-hmm. like to have my own kid, but, like, I'm just, I, I'm not... It, to me, it's not one of those things where it's like, I have to have a biological child. It'd be nice if, if yeah. God wills it, it'll happen. But, like, if you know, what I'm saying is if you know you're already freezing your eggs, you might as well do it sooner than later. Because yeah. that's a process where it's like, oh, yeah, you're, obviously our eggs do, like, get older. But yeah. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not worried about it, dude. Like, people literally have kids when they're, like, 45 now. Yeah. Like, don't be stressed about it. Is no, how I, feel. I, I, like, literally last week we had the conversation um and then she like already found the place mm. so she's like well i'm gonna do it i know you've been thinking That's about awesome. doing it like let's go and i'm just like okay cool like that that could be like cool obviously you know what i mean like you have to go through yeah. all these tests and do all this shit and then you have to like shoot yourself in the stomach with like some stuff i'm like that sounds painful let but. me know if this is too personal but i'm genuinely it's a, it's a kardashian thing that's why i'm asking would you ever take a sperm donation from your son's bio dad we, yeah, I actually had a conversation about that, but the prob the only reason that I that like cuz he was okay with it even with like my ex. Yeah. Like we had talked about that and even though it got messy and weird and everybody was like really your ex is willing to do that, but like th- like you know, we had the combo. Um the only reason I wouldn't is because I would hate for that child to know that that was his dad all along and when my son goes and sees his dad and mm. if he doesn't have you know what I mean? If if like that's my mm. child with someone else, mm. I wouldn't want him. But if for any reason I don't have a, you know what I mean? Like a, yeah. a person that I'm with and like, I guess I, w- I would. The Kardashians are all about like biological siblings. That's yeah. the only reason I brought, I just saw yeah. a TikTok today about it where she was just like, whenever her and Kanye, they didn't, they, she was pregnant with North and she didn't know she was going to end up with Kanye. And she was like, um, well, can you at least give me some of your sperm so we can at least have like a sibling? <laughs> yeah, no, we did have a conversation about that, especially because um, his mom, I'm very close with with uh, my son's grandma mm. on his dad's side. Mm. And she was like, oh, my God, I would love that because, you know, obviously you guys made Drew and like, that's great. Yeah. I, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't go old school on the child. Like, I wouldn't want to make it the same way we made the other one. Yeah. But I thought about it. But then it's like, then he would technically have to be his dad because then he has to go visit him. And would that be not okay? Well, I already worked out the whole like no child support on this one. I don't know. If I, mm. I don't know if I want to go back to court on mm. that one. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Round two court. Like, mm. I don't think, you know what I mean? I don't so know. So you don't get them. child support on your son? I don't give child support by a miraculous uh, miracle. Yeah. Um, well, is so, it, does it even work the same as a sperm donor situation? Um, no. <laughs> 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 also, no alimony. So, woo. No, hey. but um, no, I I don't know. Well, but don't, I, don't you have your son more or no? Yeah. I don't, yeah. yeah so why would why would you give child support just because? Well, when the original, like in the beginning of the divorce, there was a lot of conversation of like of alimony, child support, all that because obviously I was the breadwinner. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah, that goes both ways. By the way, to all you fucking guys that hate women and think men only like are the ones that pay stuff. Like mm. if a girl is the breadwinner or a woman is the breadwinner, then the same combo fucking applies. Yeah. Yeah. And so does cheaper to keeper. What's that? Oh. Well, when dudes are like they just stay married to fucking yeah you know when'd you get divorced <laughs> yo she's coming <laughs> she came through here shooting well, it's, it's, I don't know, to me it's just like, like a setup <laughs> it's just like a part of your life and a I part of the story I am not snow bro I'm cause I'm not like I'm scared to ask her about anything so I'm just Why? kinda like I'm gonna let ask her me, I don't give a fuck well, because you, you, I don't want to fucking, I mean, girl, you be having some crazy shit going on. I so know. I'm just like, I'm not trying to like take you down a dark road. I would never invite a guest and then be like, Brah! you know what I mean? I'm oh. just like, no, like, let's fucking, you know, have a good time. But I guess if it's going to be, if it's going to be a duel, if, no! we, <laughs> if we shoot in both ways, um, then we might as well. No, I'm just joking. No, no um, I'm down to talk though. In the though. West, no. Western. Like, because yeah. it, cause that's the stuff that's interesting anyway. But like, if yeah. there's something I don't. So comfortable yeah. talking about it, I just say no but like if I imagine I'm, I ask a question she's like no, no there's just, I put like, so damn. much on the internet that it's like you know what I mean like, like I they said the answer there. it's no way what did you ask me when did you get divorced oh okay um so I was legally separated for a very long time since before I met my ex my last ex that you guys probably know the other one um but i got you're so, you try to you're like really? i want to talk about it but you subtly bring it up in so many ways no well because they <laughs> know her so it's like if i too. talk about my ex well if, because i have yeah. another ex 
So, yeah. you know, I don't want to say her name, yeah. but there's another ex. Was that and, not a good ending? No, yeah. We're oh, good. tight. Good, that, yeah. Whatever. Her and to it. Her Three. and my ex husband like it, like hang out like they're friends like everybody's what? everybody's friends. Is that weird or no? No, because he has a girlfriend. Like he's like everything's cool. It's just she was in my my son's life, so like yeah, like, for you know a long what I mean? time. Yeah, so, okay. no, not her. Oh, That's what? what I'm saying. That's why I brought it up that I have another ex that you know in you don't between? know about. No, before her. Oh, vibe. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> She's like in between. Yeah, in She's there. mind blown. She's like, oh my god. No. So I have an ex that is a girl mm. that was between my ex husband and my the Other one you met. Yeah. So okay. that's why. So anyway, um, what was that? Um, yeah. So that was it. But legally, I got divorced. T- technically, what? Like two years ago? When was it? Oh damn! Kind of recent. Yeah. yeah. Was it well, traumatic or kind of whatever? No, it was very hard. That's why I'm really? saying. Really? Huh? Okay, yeah. August it was so hard after all that time? No, it was hard to get a divorce from someone who didn't want to divorce me. Oh, shit. Whoa. That's why I had the combo. Oh, cheaper to keep her vibe. Is that what it was? Or better. It's like... That he, like, genuinely vibe, loved you, too, Loki. That that type of vibe, but also, like, he had his own life. I literally ch- helped him choose outfits. One time I remember he was going to go on a date, and he was wearing fucking short sweatpants, and like like shorts, cargo shorts that <laughs> yeah. were sweatpants. And I'm like, you're not wearing that on a fucking date, bro. So I fucking helped him, like, get some clothes, and I'm like, look, there you go. You're going to find a fucking cool chick. So, yeah. Was it, um, like, how did he feel about you all of a sudden dating women, though? Like, was that weird? Was that a part of it? I think I think per most men they don't think it's a big deal until you like fall in love with a woman. And then it, yeah. And then it's like, wait a minute, what? It's like, yeah, this is like real. And They're like, hey, you're dating bitches, and it's like nice. And I'm like, yeah, you can date women. I'm gonna date women. We live yeah. in our own lives. And then it's like, when you fall in love with a woman, then they're like, wait a minute. Yeah. This for real? And you're like, yeah. Because yeah. before, like to them, it wasn't actually a threat. It's like a weird hot fantasy kind of thing. Yeah, I guess technically. Yeah. But it's like that's not my problem like yeah. we had the conversation you know the same way you was going on dates i was going on dates the same way all that shit so speaking of um lesbians your lips are so fucking hot dude Six- <laughs> speaking like, of lesbians picture, and i'm like damn this bitch has some fucking lips <laughs> wait but you said speaking of lesbians so which ones are you talking about you mm? you i'm joking oh <laughs> well but, are you um, a lesbian yeah. or are you bi i would consider myself a lesbian yeah wow like that over dudes I, it's not because I'm overdue. It's because yeah. I'm that into women. Well, true. Okay, I get it. You know? Like, yeah. like guys into love to say, too. like, damn, your guy must have fucked you up that you like women. But it's like, no. I met girls, and girls literally are that amazing that I was like, oh, my God. Like, I want to live here. Like, I want to, like, live inside of y'all. It would <laughs> be great. <laughs> literally. So, yeah. <laughs> like, it would be great. Wow. So, yeah, I love that. Have you Damn. ever had any lesbian experiences? By the way, I'm not hitting on her. No. I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm like, so the internet... are you attracted to me? Right? No, it's because the internet <laughs> loves to do that shit. Hey, like, what are we? No, yeah. <laughs> why, why are we standing here? Like, she insisted on drinking. Like... <laughs> Wait a minute. So you brought up my lips, and now I'm hitting on you. Hold on. Let me <laughs> fucking... No, but I'm just kidding. Um, no. no, yeah, but I was just <laughs> asking in general. No, I am mega hetero. She's a jigatarius. She's a jigatarius? <laughs> What's right? that? Terrius? What does that mean? By the way, you missed the whole Jesus conversation in the whole beginning of this shit. Oh, oh why do you like Jesus? You would have liked it. I love Jesus. Jesus is so lit, Jesus dude. Christ. Honestly, Jesus is so dope. He really is. Shout out. He, he got me. married. So people, just like that girl, there's a somebody for everybody. <laughs> Wait. Dude, what? About- Wait, what did Jesus you just say? The guy, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. oh my God. You didn't so. explain that. Yeah, go on. We thought you were still talking about Jesus. Yeah, no. So he got married. He found a good gal. Oh, the gal, meth head guy. A good gal. And got married. And Who are you talking about? Jesus yeah. Christ. The guy. The, 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 the bald guy. Yeah. Oh. That's my man oh, right spirit, there. Which is the word of God. Men's. Jesus Christ. So put on. Huh. The arm of God. He did that in his way, too. We love you, God. So we do it for God. Jesus Christ. Uh, of truth. Jesus <laughs> so my friend Jamie always talks about the pipeline from Jesus Christ or from meth heads to Jesus Christ and how whenever you previously have done meth in your life, you're probably going to be like, if you do get all like straight, you know, you're going to go super Jesus. There's a reason for that. Why? Um, so what I find 
is I just made this guy super fat. That's mega cute though. <laughs> That's mega cute. I don't have a cute fat baby. I know, cute. I love him. So I find that the reason a lot of people go manic for Jesus, especially people who were into drugs or alcohol or something else, is because Jesus literally saved them. And they have a supernatural experience because like it ha- it takes hitting a certain rock bottom where they say like Jesus will reveal himself. Jesus always saves, right? Like mm-hmm. that's real. So like he says, blessed are those who uh, have not seen me and yet still believe. But there are people who like have a supernatural experience with Jesus who are just like, when you have that on earth and you're like, oh my God, it's real. Literally, like this is all real. I just met Jesus. I have now met God. And now the most important thing in my life is letting other people know what I know. Yeah. Because there is like, once you have contact with the Holy Spirit, you're like, literally nothing else matters. Yeah. You start performing for an audience of one, which is like the only person that matters is God. And then like, I think a lot of people... I think specifically with people who are on, like, math or drugs, like, and I I don't mean this insultingly, but there is, like, a level of, like, intelligence, emotional and intellectual intelligence that comes with it, where it's, like, you got to also ground yourself in sort of reality and, Mm -hmm. you know, as an artist and somebody who has, like, success in a business, I can kind of, like, see where they're coming from without being, like, the only thing that matters is Jesus and I have to talk about this all day long, but I understand their passion and their emotion for it because I'm, like, no, literally nothing else matters, like, just pleasing God because like we all die my you baby I mean? just turned into a freaking Jesus Christ but yeah I get that yeah. I get that and I mean there there is definitely a reason why anybody who's been on drugs or has lived down a like bad road yeah. um, you know but you know that's not the only reason I'm sure there's people who are doing you know have always been doing well in their life and they yeah. thank God for it like I thank God for everything that but I just do think that they do go super mega you yeah. know on the shit but yeah, because that kind of becomes their new life purpose as well. Because like they didn't really have a life hey, purpose in the first place. Her. Play it, Bobby. I'm in the Would volume. anybody mind if I said grace tonight? <laughs> sure, Bobby. I want to give a shout out to the man who makes it all happen. Props hey. be to you for this most bountiful meal this Amen. season. <laughs> Check it. You represent these vegetables and in this napkin and in the dirt that grows the grain that makes the garlic breadsticks that are on this table today. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, Bobby. God appreciates the support, but I'm sure he wouldn't want the pot roast to get cold. Now let's wrap it up. Sure thing. Thanks, Jay, man. Peace. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I'm dead. <laughs> I what think the? That, that's the episode. So, do you have to say grace after, like, Jesus Christ? No, not gr- no, Jesus Christ. No, you say it before you eat. Yeah, before you eat. And like them, like grace. You give great. I guess grace is like give thanks. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, English is my second language, and I'm kind of like dumb. <laughs> no, you're, you're not dumb. dumb. Oh, yeah, yeah. with that. You're no, not dumb. Like, I'm smart in some things, but in certain things, I, I'm. Literally dumb. How long you been here? It literally like in uh, America. Two years. That's it. Yes. He's Damn. lying. He's lying. Oh. Yeah, I'm lying. Why did I know he was lying? But I didn't want to question him on it. <laughs> nah, I've been here since I was like what first grade. I feel like you can't pull the English is my second language card anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I still pull it because it's like it's it's what it is, you know. Yeah. True. Hey, I got even realer. Nice. Dude, I it's like a that. process. It takes time. It takes time. What's your Dang. favorite painting you? So that means done? if I if I wait if I delete this and then I make another one I'm gonna get better Fuck. as it goes. Yeah, ours sucks. Wait, who Damn, asked why me my favorite me painting? On ours? Was that you? Who said I'm that? In. My sucks. Me. Sorry. That was you. Yeah. It was actually the one that I posted today. Mine's I feel like I got the most compliments on, and the one I posted right before that. I feel like my art style right now is at the point where it's like, you're in it. You know what I mean? Dang. You're yeah. in it to win it. Did you yeah. make it today? Um, I made it on Sunday, but I just posted the picture of it today. But a lot of people like that one, so I was in it. And I painted this one. A girl asked me to paint for her infertility struggle. Oh. And um, I feel like that was the one that was like, oh, I'm ready to start doing, like, commissions and, like, making more meaningful for other people art. Because so far my paintings have been, like, journaling for me. And I'm like, okay, I'm bored. Would like, that make I mean, you nervous? No, I mean, I love like the if she, painting. Like, if you, like if, is that her, your interpretation of her... No, because she made a request. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so you're like, she you know what you're getting. Yeah, she likes my art style. Like, nice. I'm tasteful with what I do. And, like, yeah. what, I wouldn't have posted it if I wasn't proud of it. So, yeah. yeah. That's dope. Thanks for asking. That was a really nice question. So you're, like, a real painting artist? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. 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 That's a dope talk. I know. You know I'm going to 
top of my bed. That's legit awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, just, whenever. No, I would too. When this we should start putting dry, all the paintings around the fucking white bathroom. The th- why to dry so I could do the red eyes? I was going to say, fuck. when this is super dry, you should go over this with the Sharpie and make it really thick and clean. And this is like, this is awesome, dude. I really like it a lot. Yeah, it is though. Yeah, your baby's really nice too. Copy that off YouTube. Uh, yeah, he's here. He's <laughs> you he's it off fat. YouTube? He's an Edgar. What do you mean you copied it off YouTube? Well, I I saw it and then I took a picture in my head and then I just. You have a photographic memory. Yeah, something like that. That's tight. It's only worth thirty seconds. That's okay. The only need is a frame. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like that your baby has Rick and Morty hair and also a cross on around his neck. Yeah, I'm like you know. It is what it is at this point. He's mm-hmm. there. He's vibing. We'll see. Maybe after this beer, you know, I start adding levels. Yeah. But yeah, he's an Edgar for sure. Um, Dude, I'm so happy to see you. It's been a long time. Me too. It's I know. Been it's been, it has two been a years. really long time. Like two years. It's like two years. We don't talk. All of a sudden, it's like, pull up to my house. The last time, it was like, we didn't talk for like a year or something. And then it's like, pull up to my house. And I pulled up to your house. And then two years go by. And then it's like, pull up to my house. You know, that's the type of people that's you meet in women life. Shit. It's just like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, you got a kid, I got drama. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, there's no issues. It's just like, Adults. see you in two years. Yeah, you know, shit be wild. Yeah, shit is wild, dude. Do like, you feel? Life is I wild. feel like I feel like, and I've talked about this before about like fame, hate, all that shit. Like, are you like mad strong-minded, or do you think like you just easily forget? Like, if you go through some crazy shit with like all that, like, do you just be like? whatever like you just wake up and you're like i'm um, over it it gets easier kind of every time because i feel like i go through like phases where it's like the internet will decide that i'm just like a punching bag mm-hmm. so it gets different every time i think that um more recently i more just kind of rolls off my back because i'm like oh this is all part of like like once you realize that you're such a small insignificant part of the universe like you're you're both like more meaningful and less meaningful meaningful than you think and i believe in souls so i think about oh there's an eternity the movie? after this what's that have you seen the movie what is it what movie? Soul? no the cartoon one yeah. that dude everybody tells me to watch it mm-hmm. so i definitely should watch mm-hmm. it i think i like his eyes but yeah i believe in souls so i believe that there's so much bigger than this and when i remind myself like oh this is literally such a small insignificant part of my life it gives me peace but i feel like when my peace really started was the day that i literally like got on my knees and started praying for all the people who like hurt me like the people who were actively making videos i was just like let me fucking really just like pray for their healing because obviously there's something broken here i could never do this to somebody so obviously there's something and then all of a sudden literally it was like god was like finally you dumb bitch like yeah. here's some more blessings like keep going on this path yeah so then i was just like gotta forgive them like hating somebody is just drinking poison and expecting them to die like yeah. that quote right yeah so that's how i feel i deal with it now but the internet also just like I just be going through the ringer. I like you'll always get course corrected if you're on the wrong path. And like when I'm on the wrong path, like I get humbled real quick. Like if I get prideful, if I get vain, like I get humbled real quick. And like every time that I go through one of these big viral episodes, it's like, oh, you were like being sort of like a shithead. Yeah. Like, oh, and something bad happened. It's like, oh, you tattooed your neck and you regret it. Oh, <laughs> you, know what I you mean? regret it a little bit. You were asking that earlier. So honestly, like, no, here's the thing. I actually don't regret it. Wait, what made you want to get it and why would you regret it? Okay, so I what actually, is it? I would just keep going. I'd be what like, yo, let me just get tatted. It's bugs. So oh, the like, reason oh. I got it, I actually just filmed a whole podcast like that. I'm trying to work on a video. Did you watch for Life's it. Bugs? No. Before? Bugs no. Like, bugs yeah, life? That one. The one with the tss. Life's Bugs. But the reason I got it, like, was... There, there were a lot of negative reasons to get it, but at the time, like, I'm super grateful that I got it because it, it pushed me into a lot of, like, growth and understanding of myself, but I was really just, like, putting up a shield where I was getting so much hate that I was like, I need to just be tough. I want to be, like, somebody else. Like, I was trying to be anybody but myself. Yeah. But honestly, the reason that I am getting it removed is I was, like, literally woken up in the middle of the night with this random feeling, like, 4 a.m., and I'm, like, sitting here, like, why am I awake right now? Like, so anxious. And then I was just listening to my intuition, like, what is going on? And then uh, something was telling me, like, girl, it's those neck tattoos. Like, they're holding you back for what I have planned for you. Because, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with tattoos, but, like, imagine I'm, like, first lady of the United States and, like, what's holding me back is my, you know what I mean? There's just something in my future that was, like. So you're trying to tell me I wouldn't be the first lady of the United States? (laughs) No, you could be. Mm, No. If I'm president? If Beth Porter, (laughs) if Beth Porter could just become president because Beth Porter's my fucking type. 
So who is that? Because I just like I just slid on you and you ignored it, so I'm pissed about um, that. You said you were super heterosexual, so there's nothing no, there. Am. There's nothing for no, me to I think am. about. <laughs> I like Beth Porter. She's on L Word. She's a lesbian. I had one girl crush, and she once. got cheated on by a fucking. But a girl went back to a fucking dude. Nasty. So yeah. me and Beth Porter, we got a fucking hookup. Plus she's older. I've never you know like dated an older woman. I would like, I would like to look her up. Beth Porter. Yeah. How old is she? That'd be dope. But um, sure. Oh yeah. Um. Bad but anyway, back to what you were talking about. Um, your tattoos. Oh, I do. Yeah. I do feel you, and I and I do think that there's times when you know, like we're. The thing is that we the accessibility that we have to do whatever the fuck we want, right? The mm-hmm. moment that you are like still relatively young and you you don't have the money to do it and whatever, yeah. and we're in America first, first class, uh, first uh, first world problems. We get to do whatever the fuck we want. So, of course, sometimes there will be things that we fucking regret. And unfortunately for us, like, you know, we do it in the public. So we, yeah. we, we get all this hate. We get all this all this shit talking. What I will say is that, you know, even for you guys, I'm sure some of you guys are getting like a different like perspective of like, you know, even our conversation or whatever, like why we would vibe. One of the biggest things, and I've told you that guys this before, is I really, as a person who I don't think I would be able to f- handle like superstar f- fame um i really appreciate that in other people like whenever people have been able to withstand like hey i'm like yo that is that's super dope and i want to have a conversation about it and i want you to like kind of like teach me your ways because I, sometimes i'll be weak as fuck like mm. sometimes i do be arguing or like i'll be like you fucking said this and it's like i want to be better about that because it is true like you mm-hmm. know being able to sit there and pray for the people that have hurt you and understand that like they have to be mad shitty mm-hmm. to fucking do that like if, mm-hmm. if you wouldn't hurt them and then they would hurt you like why like sometimes you get caught up in the why would they do that and why Mm -hmm. but why do they hate me and why this why that and the moment you start like kind of like taking it upon yourself to just be like you know what all i can do is pray for them and just fucking Mm -hmm. move forward and just fuck all that shit um you know and and you can learn from anybody Mm -hmm. even if you guys come from different walks of life so i don't bro i barely learned like she has five you know siblings or wait five or six uh, five six. sisters, one brother. Six siblings, you yeah. know, like we don't know each other that fucking well. But every time we hang out, we do talk about that perspective and like mm-hmm. fan bases and like, you know, where the fuck life is taking us. And I appreciate somebody who can literally course correct and like change courses of life that quickly and be like yo i want to do music okay i want to do this okay i don't necessarily want the fame i want to fucking make art okay i want to do this that's dope because it takes fucking balls mm. i've i've wanted to sometimes you know quit rap and i'm not gonna lie there's times when i'm just like could i like would i fucking like regret that like what i do i'm an overthinker like a motherfucker but sometimes i'm like bro the day i get the balls to just do whatever the fuck i want to do Dude, but you can like the the glory of being an artist and being a talented person like god gave you these gifts god gave you these like like if you're talented at one thing you're talented at all really yeah. like if you wanted to become a painter if you worked on it you would be yeah. you know what i mean yeah. and because you're an artist because you're independent because you've set yourself in a place where you're safe like like you said i'll never be homeless right like yeah. you've set yourself up you can explore those things and you can take your time or you can stop and have another baby or you can't literally do whatever the fuck you want it's just about like believing in yourself and taking the time and i think that this single time is gonna be so good for you too yeah because you'll be able to be like damn like actually like i know i was just kind of fucking around on the podcast like i actually kind of fucking like painting yeah you know what i mean like maybe you're a painter now maybe you're a writer and like you have so much to say like on my my podcast i remember i was like oh damn that's tight you're a gay mexican female rapper like there's no there's nobody doing that shit you told me to make a fucking project what was it gay mexican female rapper no you were just <laughs> i remember you were like you were like but you're that and i was like no i'm not i remember at least yeah, in that podcast too. i do remember that you said something like you were hyping me up and i was like but i'm not really and you were like but why not and yeah. i remember how hard you were going at like you know like pushing me to like why don't you think you're ready like why can't yeah. you and i was just like i don't fucking know so that's one thing that i will say that this bitch i don't know what the fuck but she's been through so much shit that like when i was sitting there she was just like, but why can't you? But why aren't you? But why aren't you that big a deal? But but you are that, so yeah. good do it. And I'm like, Gabby, shut up. You know what I mean? Like, no, she's just pressing me, but it is real. fucking real, bro. You it's just about believing yourself. And if you're, I, I know, like, also as an artist and also as somebody who, like, I know you keep your circle mega fucking tight. And I know that as a mom, like, you have your priorities. I know that you kind of, like, keep all your family in one place. You know what I mean? Like, that's a lifestyle that I strive for, too. But there's also something to be said about, like, like, when I went out last night and all of a sudden 
you know, I'm around other artists again. Because for a while, I was like, I started getting the tattoo removed, and I went back to Pennsylvania, and it's all people being like, yeah, like, I'm glad you're finally, you know, it's a good yeah. idea. And I'm just like, damn, I feel stupid as shit. I really like this. Now I'm around other artists, and everybody's walking up to me like, damn, bitch, like, that's a sick tattoo. And it's like, yeah. oh, right, I forgot there's another perspective. Yeah. So it's important to also surround yourself with other artists who are like, seeing you outside of like your family loves you your team loves you like everybody loves you everybody knows you Absolutely. but on the outside it's like no but you're also that bitch like yeah. do you not understand like when you go and you do these shows and these tours like i couldn't sell seats like that that's why i'm saying like when you talk about like fame and shit like yeah people know my name are people gonna buy my tickets the way they're buying your tickets if i toured I have no idea. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're a big deal. And, like, you're capable you. of anything. You're so talented. Every time I talk to you, I gas you up about the same shit where I'm like, like, not that my opinion is, like, that important. No, it is. All, it is. It is. It like, is. It is. It takes a lot for me to put somebody on my playlist it takes a lot for me to actually listen because i'm listening i'm not just like oh yeah. yeah like this artist put out the next hits and that's what i listen to now and i'm like no like it, it has to touch me it has to move me yeah so like, not only do you have the technical ability of a rapper the technical delivery and writing and skills and intelligence and cleverness of a rapper you also have a real message you Thank also you. have a real look you also have fought against the odds you Thank also you. went through so much industry shit and came out and you're still making music you're still selling out shows you're still touring you're taking care of your family you have your shit grounded like you're an incredible woman you're so powerful you're so strong and you are the gay lesbian mexican rapper female rapper. you know what i mean like it is real like it's a a niche that needs to be carved out i just thank you that's why i gas you up like you deserve it yeah no for real you really need to frame those words so she understands (laughs) who she is and what she like represents Mm -hmm. for us mexicans and you know, people. Thank you. But Truly. no, it is it is one of them things where it's like, um, I appreciate you for that. And I think we've talked about that too. Like where mm-hmm. you Every time I that, see you, we'll talk about it. Not even just that, so but like remember. you have the creative uh like freedom to do like mad shit and there is a lot of shit that you do that I'm like, yo, you really went like deep on that topic. Like, you know, like there's some songs that, you know, I would have been a little bit more scared to release some of those thoughts whereas Mm -hmm. you're just like these are my fucking thoughts i don't give a fuck if you like it you don't it's controversial or not i'm going that deep you Mm -hmm. know what i mean and for Mm -hmm. me i see that as inspirational and obviously you can draw inspiration from like anybody everywhere or whatever but it's like somebody who literally always gasses me up you know for like what i told her is like yo like i like that you fucking have the balls to fucking do it like you know as much as you guys might think because i got tattoos and i'm the rapper like i got uh, the balls to do a lot of shit like this bitch be doing some wild ass shit and she does not give a fuck you know and i'm like that's tight can i get another beer so i can have the balls honestly that's like the blessings and the blunders like somebody told me once and i loved it they were like god makes wonders of the blunders where like people always look at me like i'm super confident and stuff because i do these things and i'm like oh no i had first of all i had no choice yeah second of all like i'm that like socially uh, unsocialized like i'm that much of like a hermit where people will be like oh she's so like courageous and different and i'm like oh i didn't even realize yeah. because like you've I'm also just... been on the internet for so fucking long yeah. like you've been you've been like known for so long that i think your perspective on a lot of this shit shifts you know like you were saying you might be around your family like you know yeah. you might be around your family and then they're telling you like don't get this neck tattoo don't do this don't do yeah, that yeah, yeah. but the biggest thing and the biggest blessing and the biggest reason why i was able to fucking make it out of where i come from and mm-hmm. where the fuck i'm you know where where i was would have been limited to is yeah. because i stopped talking to my friends and i stopped talking to my family mm. because those were the main people that were limiting me mm. those were the people that whenever i would post a song they'd be like oh you think you're an artist now mm. you know or like mm. any any anybody rappers lisa knows all the fucking people that used to hang out at your house whenever i started rapping oh you think you're a rapper oh you think your name is snow oh you think you're this and it's like yeah that's what i'm doing now so i stopped talking to everybody Mm. i stopped talking to my friend and i was just like i'm gonna focus on what the fuck i want to do so now that i'm fucking doing my thing i'm glad that people get to be like oh you know congrats you know that congrats isn't gonna turn into a fucking like we're gonna rekindle our friendship it's just a congrats and thank you and i appreciate that you see how far i went Mm. but had i listened to you my life would have been limited and different Mm. so I don't but resent that's you, what sets but you apart, dude. but that's you're not what invited. Sets you apart. 
yeah yeah that, that's like what makes you special and that's all part of the test too like and and those people like that's okay like god bless them like that was part of their journey and like they they thought they were giving you ad- the advice to give but what set you apart is you did have that little piece in you that's like why not me yeah. and that's why i just encourage you that like in these where i'm like why don't you think you're that because it, it you got this far no against self-esteem and trauma yeah i get that and you're you're just on the you're on the timeline you're supposed to be on as well yeah like you have so much stuff to figure out that's one thing that like i've learned to lean into is just like oh just trust god's timing because like as long as you trust that and just try to enjoy the ride which is something that i struggle with so bad i'm always like can i just like fucking enjoy my life like why am i not having fun and it's because i'm always like stressed about the next thing like okay like all i ever wanted was again i don't want to be homeless same thing I just don't want to be homeless. I want to know that, like, I'm financially secure. I'll never have to rely on anybody. And then I get there, and I'm like, well, well, now what? Like, I'm only 30, and I don't know what to do, and I need to, like, impress these people. I need to achieve more. I need to da-da-da. And there's always something else to do. And I'm always telling myself, just enjoy life. Just enjoy it. Like, this is what you wanted. And it's so hard to get there. But so just so you know, like, as I'm preaching these things, it's not like I'm, like, I've reached all of the side of the spiritual enlightenment where I'm so happy and living every day at peace, but I'm fighting for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, I get that shit too, because like, for example, whenever I post like, you know, like the ranch and the goats and like, it's a, it's very beautiful. Like when I yeah. wake up and I look outside and I really am mindful and aware of what the fuck my life is yeah i'm fucking grateful i literally do thank god like i'm not even just saying that shit like i thank god and i'd be like yo thank you so much for like i mean i don't call him yo but i'd be like god. i do i i, I talk to god, god like that all the time i'm like Love dude i'm like dude what Bro. is up <laughs> no but real shit Somebody like guy. i look around and i'm like there is no fucking way I can walk outside of my bedroom or like look outside of my bathroom window or my bedroom window and not notice the beautiful like Mm. green and flowers and sun and everything, you know, and with my animals and everything. So people are like, Oh my God, it's the dream come true. You know, but even when you have that dream, a lot of times you have to pull that out of you to really be like, yo, be mindful, be here right now, be grateful because a lot of times you can sit here and just be, you know, still in your fucking head. Recently I was going through something and I told y'all, I told y'all on the podcast, I'm, leaving to Miami I'm gonna go I'm gonna this I'm gonna that but that's the moment that I literally was like I remember when I when I really was thinking about it I'm like I'm just gonna be a sad bitch in Miami you yeah. know I could go to China <laughs> and I'm gonna be a sad bitch I in China I went to Hawaii by myself because <laughs> I was like I gotta get myself out of this shit and I promised myself I'd go to Hawaii before the year end so I went to Hawaii I was so excited for this trip I was planning the trip I was like oh it's gonna be so relaxing I'm not gonna bring my laptop with me I'm not gonna bring anything with me I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna sit on the beach I'm gonna relax as soon literally landed like touched down sobbing <laughs> couldn't get out of it Bro. I was like why am I so sad and I just honestly it led to a huge spiritual awakening and it also broke what was definitely a dependency on weed so like it was all definitely supposed to happen but seriously it's just like going somewhere else is not gonna fix you like I told myself for a minute like recently I was like I have to move back to Pennsylvania I have to sell my house and move back to Pennsylvania and what I relearned was like no I do want to be back in Pennsylvania and I do want to be bi-coastal because all my family is there and like I want to be close to my family but like I built my life here because it's the life I want I like the weather I like yeah. the opportunities I like being around other artists like if I go back to Pennsylvania I'm not going to do shit like this I'm not going to be painting on a podcast exactly. with a dope you know what I mm-hmm. mean and it is important but it's hard to find that gratitude sometimes but as long as you're like actively trying and like fighting for it, like God knows your heart. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he doesn't expect you to be perfect all the time. As long as you're like trying, like yeah, he's good. And a lot of good. times that's the thing, the work, right? Like when you're, no matter where the fuck you are, like you just got to do the work. So I stayed yeah. home. I stayed home and I literally was like, okay, sorry, self-care. I'm going to fucking, you know, hang out with my son. I'm going to just like pour into like my cup, as they say, and mm. just be like, you know, like let people like love me and like let's really change the way that I'm fucking thinking because I can run away for the rest of my life I can run away from my fucking feelings you know like Mm -hmm. if I have the money to fucking buy myself a ticket anywhere I can do it but once you get there you're gonna have to still face your fucking thoughts so you might as well stay home and with me if I'm home and working and I'm really in the right mind like I'm happy like I need to stop acting like I don't be happy when I'm home because I love this shit so you know I stayed home I was a lot happier what I, I guess what I'm trying to get to is like a lot of times it's really about the fucking work that you put in and like being mindful and being in this moment at this fucking time to really notice because you know how people say like you gotta stop and smell the roses it don't matter if you're literally like surrounded by fucking roses if you really don't appreciate where you're at you're staring at your phone or you're waiting for someone's call or you're waiting for someone's text yeah 
it don't matter that you're around, you know, or waiting most... for the next accomplishment, waiting yeah. for the next recognition, waiting for the next tour, waiting for the next whatever. Yeah, it's really yeah. just about like living in that moment. And it, it is so hard. Like it's it's so much easier said than done. But it's just got to be that daily it's practice work. of gratitude of yeah. just like, oh, shit, like genuinely like it's so corny, but genuinely I didn't have to wake up today. Yeah. And like by the grace of God, I didn't have a stroke in my sleep. God, I didn't have yeah. an aneurysm. I didn't have a heart attack. Like I didn't all those like I didn't get wiped out by a truck on the road. Like so many things can go wrong. Like there's so many stories of just 25 year old kids never had a medical problem in their life, have an aneurysm, have a stroke. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, there's a rough topic right now, Gabby. <laughs> no, but it's real. And Bro, like, you didn't see my fucking you. walk as it didn't fucking yeah. It's I literally you. was i'm dating obviously i was the, yeah. like on a kind of extended date mm -hmm. and the girl goes to the er <gasps> and the er turns into an overnight stay and the overnight stay turns into a several night stay and the several night stay turns into the icu and then it turns into getting transferred to another hospital and then it turns into more icu mm -hmm. then it turns to vegetative state then it turns into oh. coming like you know slowly but surely coming back but actually shocking the doctors at how fast the person is coming back so it's all been like a very big whirlwind the last, mm. what is it, 11 days of just like hospital, mm. all this shit. And it makes you really realize like, bro. Wait, that's going on now? Now. Wow. Now. Like wow. every day been in the hospital. And I've been slacking in other parts of my life and friendships and career and like, you know, even my parenting because I'm just like, this person only had <laughs> nobody. We are getting drunk and painting on Well, no, right now her family's here. She's a lot better. Thank God. The doctors literally, bro, it got scary how much the doctors uh -huh. looked at us and were like. Wait, you're dating? Well, I'm, well, I'm dating? What do you mean? I mean like, you're what dating is your girl? Well, like, what do you mean? Like, am I in a relationship or what are you no, talking about? Like, dating. Like, I, I date, yeah. This girl, though? Yeah. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Cool. Time. I mean, yeah, like I, like, what you mean? What? Okay, can we just talk about this? Because Ido dates and he gets a date, like, you know, whoever he wants. But it's like, I date and people, I feel like they think that whenever I date one girl, like, that's my, that's my date. Like, that's my only dating. Yeah, there should be some. Were you dating words. other people too? Well, I mean, I have. Like, I'm just, like, casually, you know, you, I mean, well, I'm usually, a Raya. <laughs> usually lesbians just, like, move in. Okay, but you know, I get I... that, and I've been a U-Haul lesbian, but <laughs> I am trying not to be. <laughs> Clearly, I'm called? trying not to be a, 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 a U-Haul. There's Bet Porter. There she Beth is. Port. Everybody give a round of applause for motherfucking Bet Porter. Bet Porter for president. Remember when I said I was going to be the first lady of the, whatever? In the in yeah. the show, she's a, she's a politician. So mm. I'm like, if she was the president, I would love to be. Damn. You know? I think I'm going to be first I just lady. picked out my ass, and I, I guess they were straight to the You just fucking... picked out your ass? I, 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 I... Oh, you Whoa. speak. You speak. I speak. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, I was like, what the? This donkey is like really actually He's a fucking. Right now. People said he was an NFT. He's really an NFT, bro. That's tight. Well, this donkey is still has progress. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> mm. She's gonna be sixty. Hey, yo, oh, yeah, that is one nice. older woman. I would, I would, I'll date. That's crazy. But you know, I don't think she's actually Beyonce, gay. I think though. she's just gay in the show, isn't she? I don't know. Google it for me. That was just a little. She does mama. I feel like it's controversial to not be gay, but play a gay person now. Don't you agree? Well, well motherfuckers don't see that shit. I never think about it to be honest. Who is her husband? Wait, Jennifer Beale is a fucking different person. No, that's Oh wait, that's wait, the wait, then who what is the name of, of um of um Justin Timberlake's girl? Uh, Jessica uh, Beale. Oh, that's wild. Remember she played I he was with Remember she Keys. played basketball? What? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wonder... said Gabby I'd vote for you Which is funny Because I said I would be first lady <laughs> No vote for <laughs> you to be first Vote for my husband In the future Well maybe just is. like You won the dance competition You can win first lady competition I, Are you I always wanted to enter A competition Who gets to leave the hand At the end Wins the car Oh. You know, like on the mall, like oh, it's been forty-eight hours. Nobody... I like that we decipher. We all in the room collectively deciphered what he was saying. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you just didn't have the highlight sentence, but yeah. He Google. He's like a Google. That's how I Google. Like I just say the big words, and I'm like, find it for me. Oh what? I thought I said like, a sentence. Win competition, hand car. I'm like oh, in man, the mall. Daddy. In the mall. <laughs> Do you this think he would win? Is doing it for me. I mean. If there's weed, I can sit there. If there's I mean, not, Gabby, Gabby says she's not a lesbian, but... She's going to town on she's that She's going to town on that cup. <laughs> <laughs> you got more chamoy. 
She's she's better than a lot of you lesbians like out here. Probably a lot of you dudes um, too. Yeah, but more like just regular people, you know, like they do that here and there. Hey, here's a question. Does that still exist? Competitions at the mall? I After mean, COVID, I, I feel so. like I feel like COVID really ruined a lot of fun for us. A lot of malls, yeah. Did we need sure. the mall competitions though? Yeah. <laughs> it's entertaining. Like, you know, if you were to have a Tesla in the middle mm-hmm. of the mall, I don't give a fuck how many followers I got. I might fuck around and put my hand on that shit and be like, <sighs> I might win. That's on some Mr. Beast stuff. I've only watched a couple of his videos, but Mr. Beast. I think he could be president. He can, but You were around all the f- most famous fucking YouTubers. You were like like YouTube oh, and I'm not, I don't know him No I know But I'm just saying Like in, in general Like do you ever think about that That that's like gonna go down In like the history books Like if YouTube ever disappears Like like all y'all motherfuckers was, That was a fucking wild time Yeah I'm cemented in history It's wild Like yeah. like everybody that has come yeah. After oh, that oh, time oh. Has been trying to reach The level of of the editor. What the yeah. fuck yeah. that y'all yeah. motherfuckers have? Like that millions and millions of followers, me, so I subscribers. Start, I had to start switching it up. Like what I realized, and I didn't realize it at the time, because it's like, I don't know, like probably neurodivergent girl syndrome too. It's just like, oh, I had no idea. Like everybody was copying me the whole time. And then I was like, oh, like I don't want to do this anymore because it's like the popular thing to do. So then I started being a weirdo in different ways. So I'm just like, but I feel like. Do you wish you, do you ever wish you weren't so anti? Do you wish you would have just like rode that shit? Because it was like, it, you were, you were winning. You were doing your thing. Well, it was taken from me. It's not like I quit. Oh, it can was, I tell you, you know the truth? I, mean? I don't no and look the same way that when lauren was here and people were like she doesn't know her history she doesn't know about simon cowell i don't meet people and go home and fucking google them Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i didn't meet gabby and i'm like let me fucking find out like i don't like i know people who like when i've met them they'll ask me things that i'm like i know you fucking googled me bitch (laughs) but with with me like i don't like i met you as a person tell me what you want to tell me like a regular interaction so i don't know what the fuck you're talking about what do you want to my basically like this was one of those situations where I just look back at it and I'm like, damn, like God really protected me in like a major way for real because I was, I every was... time I look back at it, I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm just kidding. No, I look back and I'm just like, I had, I was, I was climbing so fast. Like you said, like I was just in that genre of like, who the, f- who is this girl? Like, where yeah. did she come from? Why is she like, all of a sudden I had like book deals, TV deals, like all this stuff that was just thrown at me and I didn't work the the way like an actress or a host or somebody else would have to work for it yeah because i was an influencer on the internet and don't get me wrong i worked for that like that in and of itself was a job yeah but like i i got so many opportunities and stuff for it and when i look back at the way everything went down and like certain people who kind of like dogged me or like people who betrayed me things like that i'm like wow i was like headed down this path where not only was i being completely rewarded for being sort of a narcissistic shithead like i could just show up and be an asshole on sex it's like i don't even ask for this job like you offered yeah. me money to be here fucking flew to new york how old were you when you when you were like, like 25 doing... between like 25 and 27 like okay. i started at like 22 and then i stopped youtubing probably at like 29 mm-hmm. so like i did it for a minute but mm-hmm. i was just like when i think about who i was mentally spiritually and physically like everything at that point it was just like damn i was so unhappy like yeah. i was obsessed with my body i was obsessed with trying to look like somebody i wasn't i was obsessed with trying to like do things that i weren't natural to me i never had to grow as a person like i came right out of like oh college party drunk girl to like here's a whole bunch of money and followers and opportunities that you didn't really work for yeah so i look back at it and i'm like yeah i had to go through so much like pain and drama and turmoil and all these things but i'm so grateful because i was saved from a situation where it's like nobody wants to like i'm so happy i'm not still posing for thumbnails like (gasps) yeah, <laughs> you know yeah I mean? exactly. like yeah. I, it made me like oh you're by yourself in your house for a couple years find god yeah meet me again yeah oh remember when i gave you all these talents i made you a songwriter and a painter and you weren't using them because you were making youtube videos every week and yeah. was eating up all your time remember when you were like taking like topless selfies like covering your boobs on instagram and that wasn't even you because yeah. that's not who you are mm-hmm. remember when you started getting injections in your nose and in your chin and your smile lines remember mm-hmm. when you got bullied into fucking a plastic surgery procedure you didn't want remember when everybody made you feel like less than and like yeah. my entire life was centered on do these yeah. strangers I mean, like you were me growing, yeah. you were growing up in front of everybody exactly. and you were given i think anytime that's that people are you know because everybody's like oh my god like i wish i was given all these opportunities you know at a younger age or like without necessarily like you know like you said working for them right yeah but at the same time that comes with a with a 
you know, like, a like it's gonna, it's gonna, fu- yeah, it comes, it comes with your soul. Yeah, so <laughs> then you have to kind of like fucking be like, okay, bet, like now I have to, now I have to, you know, like fix that, you know, or, yeah. or fucking go through it, and now I have to go through that shit in fucking yeah. pu- like in public in front of everybody, you know, and it's like it is fucking crazy, and that's the reason that like for me at least, like, you know, I I I value any input that you have about any of this type of shit because it's like that grace that you do i think deserve because there's a lot of motherfuckers that might be 35 years old on the internet commenting about you and Mm -hmm. your decisions when you was 23 you know what i mean so it's like you don't even fucking you could never even weather that you know and mind you i'm not sitting here like co-signing every single thing you've ever done same way you wouldn't do it for me but i'm just like it is important and i think one thing that's lacking on the internet nowadays is like that grace of just like yo everybody's so quick to like cancel or jump to fucking opinions or go and fucking talk shit or be like have all these you know whatever and it's like bro do you ever look at yourself like Mm -hmm. that moment like when you went and made that fake email to make that fake account (laughs) to post that fucking hateful ass comment did you ever think yo this was a lot of steps for me to fucking get an opinion (laughs) out that i really don't have the balls to say to somebody much less would have the balls to have to say this shit to her face yeah but i went through four different steps to be able to say this shit on the internet because Mm -hmm. i wanted top comment because i want to be the silly guy you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, do you look at your, like, what does your house look like? Like, is your carpet clean? Like, did you take a shower today? Are your nails clean? Did you fucking brush your teeth? Like, you know, when's the last yeah. time you, you know, all these fucking things that you can go through to improve your life, but you went and did five steps to fuck somebody else's Are your life nails up? clean is so funny, dude. Like, dude, like, there's so many fucking, I'm like, be, you this be is the, true, dude. Be, like the same what? fucking hands that people be texting yeah. with, be or fucking commenting oh, with our dirty as fuck. Oh, I like, love that. Right? Like, yeah. you yeah. know, or talking all that yeah, fucking shit, more. or making videos or making anonymous videos because everybody can edit together a video of a bunch of pictures of somebody and yeah. then put text and yeah. then put your voice. But it's like, why didn't you make it with your face? What, oh, because yeah. people are gonna fucking uh, have you know an opinion what? on you. You know what kind of finally got me though too is like. I never, like how you said, like I was famous, right? And I was like, oh, I think I kind of realized this year a little bit because the way that I felt it and the reason I was in such a victim mentality for so long is because when I started the internet and the reason I was able to kind of blow up in the beginning the way I did is because I was always there. Like it used to be Mm -hmm. like this very niche kind of like alt thing for people who didn't know how to socialize in real life. Mm -hmm. So then it was like, oh, I'm already here. I already know what's going on. So I never, it was kind of like a frog in boiling water. Do you know that metaphor? (laughs) No, what? It's basically like- cooking it? If you put a frog in boiling Somebody water... Somebody called me a frog today. Love that. What in the New Orleans <laughs> is going on? Somebody said, I had to co- kiss a couple of frogs to see if one of them would turn into a princess. I'm like, wow, I'm a frog. <laughs> no, you're not a frog. You're a beautiful princess. We Thank did you. Have a frog I would like one to think time. so when I named myself Snow White, but whatever. Love that. Love that as well. Anyway, so what happened? Uh, but a fro- basically, if you put a, a frog in boiling water, it'll jump out. But if you put the... Uh, frog in water and slowly boil it it'll sit there and let itself boil to death because it doesn't realize it's slowly getting hotter so for me it was like a kind of frog in boiling water situation i don't remember why i got on that metaphor in the first place you were slowly cooking you didn't know you were boiling oh yeah. yeah like i never there was never a moment where it was just like i just i was doing the thing i was always doing and then i was like gradually but quickly at the same time it was like gradual but fast like just gaining followers mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden like on the outside like i'm just making videos in my apartment but like in all these like schools like elementary schools like junior highs and high schools and even colleges people are like yeah we all know this girl like even if you don't follow mm. me we all know who gabby is so i didn't know who i was at all I that. you know what i mean yeah I don't remember why I was on that tangent. No, I get that. But also, that is a very good... I've never heard that. The You know, it's like... So, wait, hold on. I'm drunk. So, if you put a frog in boiling water, it's going to jump out. But if you put a frog in regular water and you slowly start boiling, it's going to sit there and get cooked. Mm-hmm. That is so sad. Yeah. Who is this frog? Yeah. I'm about to crap. You know that? Hello, my lady. Hello, my darling. You got to play that <laughs> shit. I hate that frog because remember, like that's how it feels. That's how it feels to be in a toxic relationship, yeah. bro. Yeah. With a narcissist. Like mm. they, when, when nobody's around, they're like wilding and like doing all this fucking shit. Mm-hmm. But then when you're like, yo, this person is fucking toxic. They're like, Bruh. And you're yeah. like, you fucking, you were just fucking talking. Look, let's do it again. Ribbit. <laughs> yeah, they're like, ribbit. <laughs> 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 Ribbit. 
Everybody do the Michigan ride. Everybody likes the Michigan ride. Every may mention. What's that guy's name? Stomp, romp, hop the Michigan. Jump, clump, clump the Michigan ride. That love to. Alright, fast forward. Yeah, when does he show? He all the way towards like towards the end. He takes him over there and he's trying to show them. So the frog is like the equivalent of like if you're in a relationship with a narcissist and they just like they're abusive, they gaslight you, they talk shit, they beat your ass, all that shit, and you're just like, bro, this is what happens. And then when you when they when you finally fucking get people to fucking hear, everyone's like, no, we don't see anything wrong. He just ribbits. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, a perfect metaphor for any situation where it just like slowly happened, and it's like, let me, well, I can deal with just a little bit more. I can deal with just a little bit more. I can deal with just a little bit more because when you just gradually pile on bricks, like yeah. you don't realize that it's getting so heavy until mm -hmm. it crushes you. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's crazy. So yeah. then, you go through all this stuff. It slowly fucking crushes you. It's boiling. At what point? Do you get out of the pot? Yeah, yo, that was good. At what point do you get out the pot, bro? Yeah, that's why I'm saying God, like, literally pulled me out of the Once pot. Once you start adding the corn, that's your... Hey, <laughs> shh, you gotta get out, boy, because that's almost close to being done. No, he just, like, Straight pulled up. me out, dude, where I was just, like, it wasn't the life that was good for me. And it was, like, yeah, like, this is a really worldly life where it's, like, okay, can you get... You got this success. You got this money. You got this deal. You got this recognition. This many people in Are you happy yet? Are you good yet? It's like, oh, you're, you promised me, basically, like, I feel like I always had this, like, deal with God when I was growing up. Like, I always felt like I wanted to do work for him, and I, I always kept him in my prayers. And, like, as I was gaining success, like, I always recognized, like, this is God working for me. And when I get to this certain point, like, there was always kind of a place in my mind, like, when, when I get to my house, then I'll be able to, like, when, once I have my place locked down, then I'll really start be able to do, like, the work and, like, really giving back and doing charity and all these things. And it was, like, literally the devil saw that. And as soon as I got in my house, it was like, nah, here's a bunch of drama and distractions. I'm mm -hmm. going to fuck you up right when you're about to do your thing. Yeah. So then because I was, like, facing these adversities and these trials and tribulations that I hadn't really had to experience yet, all of a sudden, like, I'm not talking to God the way that I was. Because before it was That's easy. True. It was easy to give thanks it was easy to talk to god because i'm like yeah things are pretty dope right now and then when things got hard and there's like a guy living in my house and like all these things like i just stopped talking to god and then eventually like it was like Fuck almost like i had this like memory where i was like oh right like where was god in all of this yeah and then i that's when i was like praying for my enemies and that's when i feel like i felt his presence come back and be like all right girl let's talk like i missed you yeah <laughs> no, you know what? About this. that's one big thing that's true um sorry i'm gonna do the little no, tiktok live again just do to you. push people over to youtube but i agree with you in that there be times when we're so busy with whatever the fuck is put right in front of us that we ain't as grateful as we you know what i mean mm -hmm. like we just forget and then it's like you know that moment when you finally like let's say you you didn't realize you haven't like prayed in like fucking three weeks or something mm -hmm. and then you're just like damn like you pray and then you're like damn like i feel a little bit better like that was one little brick towards a like a lot better towards like what the fuck i'm supposed to be doing mm -hmm. and that's all it took like mm -hmm. that was the one little shift that i should have mm -hmm. done but i didn't do because i've been so wrapped up with my head up my own ass what are you doing? Mm -hmm. What? Are you about to fucking... Did you catch the Holy Ghost? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is that you catching the Holy Ghost, bro? Yeah, I told you. The other day I was fucking talking on, on on TikTok. I was talking on TikTok in the morning. I was doing my makeup or whatever, and somebody like, said some dumb shit. I'm like, bro, you should be happy. I'm, I'm up in the morning right now preaching. God has used me as a fucking vessel to let you motherfuckers know. And I'm telling you, I know that I'm not the mm -hmm. people, the person you would probably expect, but I'm like, bro, I do believe, like, you know, I, I got a couple atheists in my life that I got to be like, hey, hey. And I felt like at least letting him know to not be disrespectful mm -hmm. towards, like, my situation with God yeah. was already a win. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it's like sometimes it's dumb baby steps of, like, you could be, you can believe what you want, yeah. but you're not going to disrespect God in front of me. Yeah. And then it becomes, but you're not going to disrespect God in front of anybody. Yeah. And then it becomes there's a little level of respect. And then I'm doing a little bit of my piece of what I should yeah. be doing because I do feel like God has been involved in a lot of, of what course. I've fucking done. You know what God's I mean? God's been like, involved in every step of what you've done. I He's, didn't I didn't do this shit by myself. Not a Don't thing. Don't catch the Holy... Look, give a me thing. a beer while you catch the Holy Ghost. Please. <laughs> Bring me another two. <laughs> it's in the fridge. All right, no, right, but truly, is, though. No, it's no, the progress. Dude, that looks sick. Um, 
For real. I like how y'all have been progressing and I've literally been frozen in time. That's okay. That's fine. My bladder is not frozen in time. My I'm actually like, been... I'm into this right now. Though. Do you have to Me pee? Me too. Do you take yeah, a break? I kind of do. Yeah, so do you. No, I don't take a break. Thank you. I don't take a break. Y'all you. can talk about whatever you want. I'm going to go, you know, right. I'm going to pee. pee real quick. Go pee. Because I want to get another fucking beer. I'm going to, sh- you know what? What's I'm going to challenge, beer? I'm gonna cha- we're going to challenge your white card and as Mexicans, we're going to shotgun a beer. And you better no, you better survive. Well, you don't know should be because he's gonna win. Oh, Edo, you don't know how to shotgun a beer. Nobody's ever seen him. What? There's no more. You're fucking lying. Are they in the studio? It's not Viking. It's Ving. Or Ving, whatever. That's, that's vodka. Yeah, I was thinking that Ving. Yeah, that's vodka and soda water. Dude, I'm getting lit tonight. I'm falling asleep on your couch so I can drive home. Getting lit tonight. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're not allergic to dogs. That's all I'm gonna say. I got no, five dogs in my house. I'm good. Uh, yeah. Other than that, we good. We chilling. Yo, yeah. that should just be a thing. Like, whenever we have fucking podcast guests, we're like, look, here's what's going to happen. You're going to come to the podcast. You're going to get interviewed. We're going to drink. And then you're eventually going to, like, sleep yeah, here. Cool. You, actually, there's an extra room right here. There's a guest room. Um, Which is why we're fixing the guest room to have a fucking strip pole in Love it. Love that. Love you that. Know? So there's a guest. This is a guest house. And um, fucking, you know, it'll be dope because then it's like anything goes. You're going to fucking be your honest self. And I want to call this podcast the most fucking genuine podcast on the fucking internet because here's the thing it's live it's gonna be people of different walks of life there ain't no editing there ain't no nothing it's just we drinking we chilling we having a good time and it don't it don't matter if we disagree on anything we're gonna have that discussion and we're gonna talk because it comes from a place of like love and acceptance mm-hmm. it doesn't come from you know what i mean Thanks. like judgment or like trying to embarrass anybody or trying to like yeah you know like yeah. what the fuck we yeah. we we painting matter of fact right now look look tiktok this painting is of my future child I mean, he's not going to be a priest. This is making him look like a priest. He's not a priest. He's just fat. He looks like a little bit like a priest, <laughs> which I read my mind. Hers We're still is working. fucking beautiful. We're working on her. Are you kidding me? This is fucking, they it are looks, artsy. <laughs> it looks insane. It literally looks so bad on I'm, the camera. <laughs> I'm glad I'm a rapper. <laughs> Yayo stuck to his, to his NFT style. He but stuck to his guns. He stuck to what, to what he's I'm been working on. I'm a donkey, on. so I got to represent. Hey. Yeah, I wanted a donkey Donkeys to protect. are instinct, guys. So that's why they're I not. Also th- yes, they are. They are more. They're more valuable than a horse right now. Just so everybody knows. Donkeys. So, yes. You're lying. Back in the day, donkeys everywhere. Now, I might buy a donkey no just because of that. If that's really their story, yeah, because story. in Mexico, people used to be like, "Oh, he thinks he has a horse, but he has a donkey," and everybody would laugh. So the f- if if really donkeys right now are more valuable more than valuable. horses, I love that story and I want to buy one. Something feels mega like difficult Cinderella. about that. Right? Loki. That's that's dope. We're in the end times, motherfucker. I, why do you think I got a ranch, bitch? We're gonna grow I'm our jealous. own food. I'm so jealous. We're getting. I'm getting. Literally, eggs are seven dollars. Bro, we have chickens. Not at Trader Joe's. Eggs got expensive, nope. and we have chickens. We have yeah. fucking goats. goats. I want. I Milk. love goat cheese. You're first living. Of all. You're Let's living my dream it. for real. For real. For real. For real. You really are. Fucking pull up. Help us. <laughs> Help us up. because some of my white neighbors are questioning why we live here. They think we're drug dealers. We're not. Mm. So. You said, mm? well, yeah, I got that dope. I got that dope. No, <laughs> no you know? for real, you're living my dream right now. Like, when I think about moving back to Pennsylvania, which I think I will eventually, like, when the time is right, I'll have a house back there. But, um, like, my thing is I, I always get so far ahead of myself where, like, I'll get this thing implanted in my brain. I'm like, oh, that's, like, God telling me to do this thing, right? And, like, I'm like, I have to do it right now. Oh, my gosh, Bucci named himself Get Bussy for you. Wait, you know who that is? I saw that. Okay, when I so first... Bucci. Okay, so Bucci names him adds an ussy to anybody he likes. So the fact that he put Gabussy to you Thank is you. a welcome to the fucking Every Thank Night Nights you. podcast because Bucci is our favorite. By the way, Bucci, I gotta let you know. I gotta let you know. So we were talking about the fact that you know my dogs Excuse for the most me. part are start with a B other than Poncho because Poncho just he's special. But anyway, so we got Brinks, Benji, Bash. And because Sushi's been staying on the ranch and he sleeps in Ito's room along with all the bee dogs, we named him Bushy because he's Sushi. Aww. So, so uh, yeah. Well, so, so, we, so the moment that we said his name is Bushy, we were like, oh my gosh, we should let Bucci know. So Bushy and Bucci, you guys are BFFs. But now Gabussy. So we here. We, you guys we are out here. We, we, we all out here. We love we love Bucci. Um, yes, you said white claw. I mean, and for my white friend, we, we are white clawing, I guess. Hey, 
We hey, really don't got beer. I find that hard to believe. I, I feel like we question. were like four we thirty packs. Wait, I have some questions what, about my. You're like, you drank, you drank them. You drank them. Can we talk about guest. it? I was getting tour. I was getting tattooed so much. Wait, can I ask you a real question though? I want to hear your real honest opinions. Thank you. Is Why? it gonna take a while? Cause I gotta pee. Oh, no, I mean, I'll, okay, fine. We can, we can Ask it to me. People. Listen, why? Why is Middle Eastern just like, oh, you're white? Because uh-huh. you earlier said you're white. Oh my god, if I can rewind no, this no, shit, no, if no, I can, but, because but I did it, see when you called yourself Middle Eastern, and I was gonna talk about that. But then when yeah. you sat here on the podcast, you said white. So well, I was I like, okay, white. maybe was that like white. a like a like a not. But people like really don't consider Middle Eastern any type of ethnicity. Do you and feel no? Like, first of all, annoying. no, it's don't annoying. say that. Hold on, hold on, me. and I'm gonna correct you as my friend. Correct me, correct me. I'm gonna let you know. I do, of course, Middle Eastern. What do you mean? Yes, but I don't necessarily think that you have always since the beginning of your career identified and very like prominently like represented that for example if no, I, was I have ever, though okay I well have. i don't know because again i don't fucking google you but i would assume that the reason that people don't necessarily know that about you or no, say people, that about you people know that about me but the thing is like even on a census like there is no checkbox for middle east but there's not for mexican either but we're really? fucking yeah no Go i thought it was like it usually says hispanic latino no, no but that's white. it's white and then you have to put like in the race it's white and then you have to put under ethnicity you know hispanic or whatever interesting okay yeah. i feel like whenever i see it it's just like black caucasian and then no, it's like Latino you know where, you know where they Asian. do have it like yeah. right up front yeah crime whenever you oh. commit a crime they put latino front and fucking oh. center on the census Shady. on the census they put white and then they put you know, Latino on like a like another fucking category. But I could tell you one thing because I've committed crimes. The moment you commit a crime, them motherfuckers is like Latino, Hispanic, brown, something else, not white. But mm-hmm. if I'm like, mm-hmm. you know, on the census or, you know, like my taxes or whatever the fuck, yeah, you know, yeah. so then they're like, oh, white people pay a bunch of taxes. Like, guess what, bitch? A couple hundred thousands or if not a fucking million of that shit was this fucking brown bitch. Uh-huh. But you made me put white. Yeah. You assholes. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I feel after I go that. pee, I we're going to chug more. this white claw, yeah, yeah. and I'm going to tell you, no, of course, fucking Shouts Middle, Middle Eastern. Eastern. I got oh, a yeah. lot Shouts of shit about that. You know what? I got a lot of shit about that. Shout out Middle Easterns, yo, cheers. I have a friend that's Middle Eastern. Let's fucking chug that. this shit for my Middle Eastern people. I love my Middle Eastern people. Nah, not to be like that, but... The one rich time I fuck. did fuck with a with a with a you know she was from Jordan she was she you know she was Habibi and shit she fucking choked the shit out of me in a fucking bathroom <laughs> stall I was like yo that was the scariest lesbian experience I ever had that bitch was you know it was it was it was attractive but it was also very scary I thought she was gonna kill me yeah it, it was it was lit but yeah I would like yeah. to meet with her again if she ever is in town <laughs> hi and she taught me with the word Habibi man all right Habibi baby what does that mean Habibi a friend like babe no babe? it was like baby well, that's what she told me she okay, told me baby. it was a friend oh, we went to hey, a strip club it was lit it was a crazy experience for me I would like to leave, meet more Middle Easterns Wait, if I can for all I know I'm gonna I'm gonna try to meet my next my, my type is that my nose that was a lot of swirling like, I'm working on it bitch thank you Appreciate Wait a minute. It. Oh my gosh. My tattoos, I forgot I, I took a shower and I didn't put lotion on my tattoo, so I am crusty. It hurts. Is that a thing? What? When you get a tattoo, yeah. Lotion on my tattoo? Damn. I gotta, I like well, I'm getting all my tattoos removed, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but. All of them? I don't really take all of them. Uh, how many yeah. do you have? Uh, I Is think it? like 12. Yeah, I have the neck one, were, which Were you high or like, drunk or anything? I'm not going to lie. I definitely was high, but I think that I was kind of in a state of being high for like a few years. How long did that one take right here? It took like 10 hours. Actually. 10 hours? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. Session. Honestly, it was like a horror story. So I spent so long doing the stencils for it. And then I was like, okay, we're all good. Right. Well, so I then do. I told her like, I want to see step by step. And I was like checking step like by bugs. step. So I had the mirror and then I was like, just do the beetle first and then we'll go from there. So when I got up initially, this beetle's antennas were literally like, bo- they were both crooked. I was like, all right, I'm gonna calm down. I'm not gonna panic. Like it was such a growth experience for me. So I had to take a pen and I'm literally in the mirror redrawing it backwards in Good the mirror you. so that she could do it. So then I was like, do exactly this. So. It actually isn't the original design. It's a little bit wider, it's a little bit thicker, but I started it so thin in the first place that it wasn't that big of a deal. But dude, it was traumatizing. And then like the B up here, like you can still see, cause tendons move so much. So like depending on the angle you're at, like it kind of shifts and like it's not centered, which actually drives my OCD crazy. But trying to place that B was like the biggest 
problem. And as you like grow in age, you're just Yeah, so exactly. What was the yeah. meaning behind the butterfly? The spider, the... So, the stag beetle is the representation of the triumph of good over evil, and the infa literally, in Greek mythology, I believe, the infamous metamorphosis of a musician. And then the Black Widow was a very specific story that, to me, represents intuition and trusting your gut. The carpenter bee is the only bee that works in solitude, and the butterfly represents uh, transformation. And I mean, I feel like butterflies are pretty, like, you get it. Like, it was a caterpillar, and then I, like, cocooned, and then I was a butterfly. It's just so, the worst part. Um, it's all a blur to me. Like, yeah. honestly, it didn't hurt at all because it was just like, I think the anxiety of it was yeah. so overwhelming that I couldn't feel physical pain. It was just like, okay, were, this is gonna so rock. No. No, I had to smoke a lot of weed yeah. to get through it. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I say something real quick? Just yeah. because I hope that you're still on my live. So to the person that said something, right? Like, you know, whatever you said about, like, Gabby. Like, oh, oh, she needs to be deplatformed. I just, I requested you, right? I requested you to go live with me. Come back. But you declined. Come back. So, no, to me, to me and to, I feel like the thing that I respect about this bitch, at least, like I, like I said, we Ready. don't know each other very much as far as, like, details of our shit. But, like, the thing that I respect about her is that if she was to say some wild shit about me, I, and I requested her to go live, she would go live. Yeah. Because she'd be like, let's talk about it. Right. Yeah. But a lot of the people that have opinions, uh, yeah. especially on TikTok and on social media, y'all motherfuckers be scared as fuck. So it's like, why do you say a wild ass statement? And I, yeah. the reason I have the balls like to, to fucking like request you is because I know this bitch is gonna be like, let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation. Yeah. Cause it's all lies. That's because the thing. Like anybody who says anything exactly. like that. Or they heard something they have, and heard something and heard something. They have no idea what they're talking about. Like oh, yeah. genuinely. Just they want to be top comment. Yeah. Yeah. They just genu genuinely have no idea. They so. need uh, their mom. Uh -huh. You know, but yeah. it's it's a real thing. Like let's nobody who knows me in real life and just like meets me out like has a problem. It's just like people on the internet who are like, oh shit, that bitch usually gets like twenty thousand views and she has six million. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me talk shit on this yeah. girl because I'm famous. <laughs> or, like, or like or like let's be for real. Let's be for real. Or like or like I heard this. I heard this. I heard that. But uh. did you actually like? Did you hear from the source? Right. One. Two. Let's say for example. Because I've heard a couple different things, right? One of them is like, oh, she had a manic episode and she did this. Okay, bet. So for all you motherfuckers that love to talk about mental health uh -huh. or that would, you know, for any fucking reason, because mind you, I've been fucking manipulated by people that literally use, like, for example, unaliving or that type of shit as a fucking weapon. Y'all will fall for that type of shit, but when somebody actually has a fucking manic episode or, like, has yeah. problems where, to be honest, like, it, it does harm to themselves or, and then they let you know, like, yo, I kind of was going through something, whatever, whatever, whatever. Y'all motherfuckers love to talk shit, but guess what? You don't do it as much for a Kanye West or, like, a dude than you would for a girl because guess what? A girl is an easy target, especially if it's a girl, a white girl, and somebody who's been successful for a very long time. It's going to seem easy for you to talk shit about that that person mind you once again i'm not absolutely co-signing everything that this bitch done i don't know very much but what i'm saying is that from what i've seen and wh what i've had as a friendship with this person we haven't had any fucking issues and i and and I, I just think that there's a lot of like misunderstanding and i think that there's a lot of scapegoating and a lot of like Thank punching you. somebody because they're going through something and y'all find to, it yeah. easy to do yeah because if Thank you know you. like that's just what it is a lot of times like women get punched like, we turned into a punching bag way before you would do that to a fucking guy. Like, let's be for real. Yeah. Like, that's just what it yeah. is. And again, like, this is me, Snow. Like, I have no problem with addressing whatever you want to fucking address. But, bro, I'm just saying that in general, like, at least make sure that your shit is, like, based on facts and whatever. Mm -hmm. Cool. But you'd go crazy, too, if, like, everybody yeah. talked mad shit no, about you. No, but that, that is what it is, I'll too, go crazy. is, like, the people will attack me for my reaction to being attacked for years by liars so yeah. it's like okay so like i ignored this bitch for six years she's I'll, still actively no attacking bitch i'll me. tell you the one thing i know about you right yeah. the one thing that i did see uh -huh. some dude battle wrapped you <laughs> talked shit and then when you replied everybody took his side yeah and it was like oh you mean the man who physically assaulted me and shattered my phone at a party you mean you mean the, <laughs> the six foot something man who to me, I was just like, man. you mean the man who literally 
pinned me down in the middle of the party, wrestled me to the ground, yanked my phone out of my hand, shattered it, and ran away, and then made a diss track, and it went mega viral, literally assaulting a and woman. everybody took oh, right, his side. Right. That was yeah, wild. Yeah. Just on some regular yeah. shit, again, I let me, just to make sure I preface everything I say with, I'm not punking out of my opinions because I don't know every detail. However, I'm just going to say, the one thing I did see was a dude this a woman mm -hmm. and mad people including women mm -hmm. dudes everybody take that dude's yeah. side when he literally even said yeah. he broke her shit like to me it's just a little bit more of like and you know what happened in that moment too like is this people, is the world people go, saw I go it, crazy too bitch people saw it as like oh no it was years after that that made me go crazy but people saw that and they were like oh this we can literally physically assault this woman and break her property and nobody's going to come to her defense because he has more subscribers we can say whatever we want and get a lot of views that's what i mean he the went internet platinum. was wild yeah. back then that's what yeah. i mean like dead ass we're not even talking about 2023 we're mm -hmm. not talking about right now i'm talking mm -hmm. about yo i want to ask her questions about like you were famous in a time when the internet was mm. insane People yeah. were still lying about who they were, yeah. but as long as they were pretty or attractive or friends yeah. with the right people, it was like, imagine what high school was to everybody, but like on the internet. I can't even fucking imagine. Like that yeah. shit is fucking wild. Mind you, I'm not saying you fucking innocent, bitch, but I'm just saying, God damn, bro. Like there's yeah. things that are a fact. To be honest, I'm innocent of everything that I've ever been accused of <laughs> online. Okay, God. Online? <laughs> like oh, I'm, I'm not a perfect person, but the things that people say about me is literally a lie. Like people who I barely know, yeah. like come out and like they'll make these videos. They don't get any views and all of a sudden they have a drama channel. And it's yeah. like, oh, so you like made up a lie. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, I hate drama. And now you have a drama channel. Oh, yeah. And it's like, oh, OK. But like there's I've actually disproved literally everything with a series. I now deleted because I don't want drama on my channel. But I know that people save the videos. I know the information's out there and that yeah. karma and God, God always does his work. You know what yeah. I mean? And even though like those things were lies, I still look at it as God was protecting me in such a big way where it's like we got to get her out of this. Yeah. We're going to bring it up way around to her in some way. Yeah. So I'm grateful for everything, but like literally everything is so demonstrably false, like yeah. with evidence false. But like you put certain words on it and you're just like, oh, well, we can't combat this because it's 2020. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. And, and again, like, yeah. like, I think, you know, with with this shit and like with me having, you know, people on my podcast that like I talk to. We can talk about whatever. Like, y'all motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Like, just, yeah. you know, I'm hanging out with Gabby. Like, I'm not taking on her sins, and she's not taking on mine. For all we know, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, we don't know what the fuck each other is. And done. honestly, there's something to be said for people who, like, all the people who just randomly made a video about me being like, oh, I can make a viral video talking shit about this girl. You're still the bad guy, in my eyes, in God's yeah. eyes. Because, yeah. I mean, God loves everybody. But it's like you no matter what you're talking shit you're gossiping you're yeah. spreading drama you're starting rumor yeah. like whatever it is but unless it's like you, you unless it I mean? was you the moment you're discussing it is a little crazy. it's gossip dude but somebody hurt your feelings years and years and years ago yeah. move the fuck on you loser ass bitch like literally it's yeah. just period oh you want views period yeah That's what but it is. but at the end of the day um you know what, what we're here to discuss is just like what the fuck our days is like you know, <laughs> me fucking you know freezing my fucking eggs fucking she's painting me like every human being should be you know just yeah at least i have appreciate the, you saying all that though because people don't course. really don't give enough like credit and credence to like okay so this one person started a trend these couple people started this trend just like talk shit and rail on this girl what are the people in her real life feel like what it what would it be like to meet her in person yeah. and to be fair too like i don't really show that side of me either because like when i'm online i'm just like oh let me like dance or be goofy or like whatever like i'm creating content but like to mm -hmm. just like sit with me and like chill with me it's just it's not who i am like nobody is who they are on the internet like i, I like to think that i'm authentic but like i'm ready for this simulation me. to be over I know, enjoy it while it lasts, because it'll like, be over Like, I feel when like at dead. some point, I feel like, yeah, like, I'm ready to go to the after party and be like, that shit was fucking whack, yeah. huh? Like, yeah, bitch, I thought about, I told you. What do you like, think about mm, heaven? Fucking, I don't know. I mean, I hope it's there, and I hope it's literally... Do you think it's on top of the <clears throat> the nubes? I on top I, of the what? The nubes. What's that? Um, uh, hold on, processing. Mm, clouds. Clouds. 
Oh. I, uh, I just hope it's ready to... I, I just hope it's like it's like it's like really for good people and like and I hope like homosexuality wasn't a sin because then I'm gonna be like mm. damn I really stood on that mm. you I really know was what, like though? hopeful like, the thing is like Jesus died for our sins and everybody has their own sin and like I the thing is nobody knows who's going to heaven but God that's the thing too like I actually saw somebody else on YouTube have this I think it was Logan Paul and George Janko were arguing because George Janko is super Christian and Logan Paul I believe is agnostic and they were just saying like so what you're saying is like all Muslims and all Jews are going to hell like if you're not Christian you're going to hell and George Janko was like well I, I don't know that like yeah. I, I don't know like the Bible literally says I don't know who's going to heaven I don't know who's going to hell and also I believe in the book of Revelation like everybody gets a chance to just like the the way to heaven is through Jesus like it's yeah. just like everybody sins like that's part of I life mean, Jesus, you know what I mean I mean I don't know because like I'm not like I'm not gonna say like Jesus right like not the not the Jesus like the Catholic Jesus. people I feel like the God like you know I don't I don't necessarily think he got like a sh like a shape I mean. or something but um there's something there's something I pray for I, I pray to I hope you know what I mean like I think as human beings and you know uh, fucking Joe Rogan called us bacteria on this fucking earth like you know <laughs> that's I, not true I though hope, it's not true I hope there's something can I tell you how I found Jesus again but you know so I was raised it, with Jesus right and I was raised Catholic like you so I was just like you know what i don't know if i believe in this because i don't believe that like this god is like who people are telling me they are because there's so much hypocrisy so whenever i was like having these really com close conversations with god and i knew that god was speaking to me i didn't know what god was like we can't fathom god because we're human beings right so i was just like god here's the here's where i'm stuck right if i if i am agreeing to jesus then the worst case scenario is i'm worshiping a false god the best case scenario is i'm talking to god right so i was like just show me show me the truth like i trust you like i get all these signs like i get these visions or whatever and things just kept going back to jesus so i was like okay if this is real like i know god is real like this jesus part is confusing let me know um, all of a sudden I'm just getting like signs and dreams and visions and like, like all of a sudden Jesus is popping up everywhere. Like I was Googling angel numbers like crazy. And all of a sudden, after I said this prayer being like, is Jesus the way all of a sudden all the angel numbers turned to in the Bible, this number means that it is relating to Jesus. 888 is the number of Jesus. This means your ascended masters, including Jesus. So I'm like, okay, this is clearly something. Cause I prayed and now all of a sudden I'm seeing Jesus. So then I was like, reveal yourself like the bible says like jesus will reveal himself so i was like reveal yourself and then i had this like just very intense vision where it was like here it is here's the crucifixion literally i see the words jesus is messiah and like all this stuff so i was like this is fucking real dude like all these stories are real the problem is that religion is not jesus and jesus is not religion jesus is real jesus is a human being who walked this earth both man and god died for our sins like all of that is real and if you believe in the supernatural if you believe in spirits if you believe in any type of like anything of just like outside of this world like people manifest like spirits They're like oh let me talk to my grandma whatever then like the holy spirit is literally the ghost of jesus christ <laughs> you know what i mean so that part i know is real but the problem is religion and like if i could do anything in my life on this earth it would be like damn dude like this isn't what jesus wanted like yeah. these type of things like jesus is love god is love yeah jesus like wants us to all be happy and like you know what i mean yeah. like there and i feel like with especially being gay but not just gay but a lot of other things like yeah. i have qualm like people tell me that like smoking weed is a sin yeah. and i'm like where I think that's Bible. the only reason that I have a problem with that name Jesus. Like, I don't necessarily like. I think, and maybe that's me. Maybe that's a trauma of mine that yeah. the that saying the word Jesus. Like, if you were to say God, like I'm mm -hmm. fine. Jesus but, is God. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But like, I don't know why the word Jesus to me Religious like just trauma kind of fucks with me. Yeah. Like yeah. it just makes me like Ugh. right. So yeah. that's just one of them things where it's just like. Yeah. whatever cool like we could have a difference of opinion of what the fuck the mm -hmm. word is but like i i like the word god more than i would like the word jesus so other my, than that if my i could get over my own you, trip is like no totally my wish for you and for everybody is because i was in that same exact place 
and like that's why i talked to god directly and i was like help me out with this because like it says like the way to heaven is through my son jesus so i was like that's serious dude like you can't be lukewarm on it like it's either you accept jesus or you don't so i'm like so what's up with that and just like let god show you outside of religion because like that there's not a church that i've been to that is like this is what jesus represents like it's yeah. just not but like don't let that and like take your time with it and obviously it's like your discernment and your own journey and everybody has it don't let religion and what you're taught and the yeah. fear and the god is not guilt god is not shame yeah he's none of those things like don't let it turn you away from it just explore it like ask god yourself like you talk to god just be like is this real and yeah. let him bring you the signs. You yeah. know what I mean? No, and that's the thing though. Yeah. I think I think I think we're we're like the one thing that I will say is different in that is that I've never questioned God. Mm -hmm. Like I've never asked him to reveal himself mm -hmm. or show me. I know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I know. I've been mm -hmm. known. It's I know for a fact. Like yeah. there hasn't been I don't know there just hasn't been a questioning for me yeah. there's been now there's been a questioning of like religion and like you know my family and tradition and all mm -hmm. this shit but as far as like something guided me to where the fuck i'm at mm -hmm. and to the person new topics no no bridget no mm -hmm. bridget we talking about what the fuck we talking about yeah and i'm standing on that shit and to the person i said is is gabby trolling she's not trolling like mm -hmm. why is it that like when we talk about something like this like it can't be interesting and it can't be real like it's not yeah. weird that like if, if if i talk you if i tell you right now right I made this money because I signed to the Illuminati. You motherfuckers mm -hmm. would probably believe that quicker mm -hmm. than you would that I literally believed in God for a mad long and I just knew, like, magically, like, blessed. Like, mm -hmm. I, it really happened and mm -hmm. I really talked about it and I really felt that shit mm -hmm. in my fucking heart. Mm -hmm. Like, you wouldn't believe that as much as you would believe that I had mm. this random people you are know? into tarot cards people want to talk about tarot people want to talk about manifesting people want to talk about law of attraction people want to talk about all these things the second you bring up jesus or god or anything that has to do with something holy literally you turn all into of a sudden, you're weirdo. crazy you're so crazy. <laughs> crazy okay so you're fucking asking from cards who do you think is talking to you through those cards right who do you think you know wild. what i mean it's all it's all coming from and it's something. like god forbid somebody like looks like me and i'm talking to you shit about this shit because you're gonna be like oh what the fuck but it's like you know and mind you this isn't me every fucking day i'm not like just fucking super you know i'm just saying like if we really are talking about the fact that we have different journeys mm -hmm. and we have affected mad people like massive mm -hmm. people and we end up at the same spot of like yo like there is something that eventually calls us to you know stop mm -hmm. with the drama forgive people like mm -hmm. don't fucking and then eventually let you know like hey I've had to forgive people. I've seen people shit on me, talk shit, use me, mm -hmm. do all this shit. And I've literally had to turn around and literally turn the other fucking cheek. Amen. Because what the fuck am I going to do? This is just one of them things of like, yo, mm. it's all exactly. It's all related. The universe, you know, energy doesn't fucking just go away. Mm. It doesn't just come out of nowhere. It's fucking transferred. It is what it mm. is. Whether you believe in energy, the universe, spirits, fucking angels, but see, everything. I would push back like, on that too, because that's where I feel like new age stuff and like we're the, we've done such a good job as a culture of like removing god out of culture god created the universe and people are sitting here worshiping and praying to the universe because they're so afraid to say god so what about the new earth what about the new earth who created that the new you what mean like what's next earth? yeah the no, new no, earth. No, there's a new earth i don't know if you a shade room oh like they discovered they discovered uh, a new earth that's similar to earth i'm guessing yeah. On Earth? No, no, outside. Oh, I mean, that's interesting. I don't know anything about it to speak on it. For example, like, sometimes I've talked about this shit, right? Like, mm. you be manifesting. I've been, I've mm. been manifesting. But sometimes, you know, like, let's say you pray. Mm. Let's say you pray about it, mm. right? If I'm like, oh, God, you know, please fucking keep me healthy. Do this, do that. But because I already prayed about it, I'm sure. Like, mm. I'm sure. It's good. It's yeah. done. Yeah. That is manifesting. Like, manifesting is just being no, sure that something is I'll, really I'll fucking happening. I'll push back happening. on that, too manifesting in law of attraction is prayer without god what every thought no i'm saying like what some of these people think mm -hmm. is what it is mm -hmm. i think that that sureness that you feel mm -hmm. in your heart that the shit is considered done yeah this you know what's the word um on that show scandal when she would answer the phone and she'd be like consider it done bro if somebody answered my prayer and just literally said consider it done i'd be like comfortable as fuck I'd be like yeah. yo the shit is done so yeah. that's what I'm saying. Sometimes that's what you're feeling. Yeah. So it's like the same thing. So it's like interchangeable or um, like maybe even the same thing because none of us know, right? Yeah. But that feeling in your heart of it's done, that's what y'all motherfuckers be talking about. So when I 
pray to God and yeah. I ask him for the shit and I say, it's done, then it's done. Yeah. Whether it's manifesting as a universe or as God or it's well, Jesus or it's what, you know, what whoever. Jesus promises us, he says, you pray, you will receive. What people don't understand about prayer, because we've been taking so far away from what it actually is and how powerful we are as human beings and the power that we were given, we get whatever we ask for, whether we're conscious of it or not. So if you're sitting here and you're thinking negative thoughts all the time, you're going to bring a negative. That's why people say, like, you change your thoughts, change your world. You are what you think. You attract the energy that you are. You are the level your vibration at. Like, all of these things are the same word for prayer. So when you take God out of the equation and you're like, oh, well, let's manifest. Who are you asking? That's when you get a fucking demon dead ass. That's when you get another spirit. That's when you get something else to come and be like, oh, I can be the universe. <laughs> sure. I'm the universe. What do you want? OK, now I'm going to fuck up your life. Kind of like in the, like when you watch Aladdin and like if you ask the genie for question, things that really aren't good for you, like if you're like, oh, I want wealth, I want this, I want this. Then the genie's like, OK, sure, watch. I'm going to give you everything you're asking for, because as promised, you I'll give you everything happy. you wish for. But I'm going to fuck up your shit in the process. Bruh, but then that's when, true. Yep. But when you give it to God and you're like, OK, God, let me have your plan. Here are my requests. Thank you, God. If it is your will, I would love financial stability. I would love influence. I would love to be on your journey, on your path, in your time. And then that's when you're trusting God's timing. And now it's like, damn, like, I didn't think I was going to be single at 31. When I look at it, I'm like, I'm so glad I am. Because if I had my partner at this point, I would not be mature enough. I would not be stable enough. My mental health is not in check. And when I finally yeah, get my shit together. Can you stop shaking your head? Just get on the mic already. God damn. Charlie's already about to catch the See, fucking Holy Ghost. She loves Jesus. Yeah, she loves Jesus. 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 Christ. She's about to start Jesus dancing, Christ. bro. Yo, come, in come, come in here while I pee. God damn. Come in here while I pee. Take a step. Yeah. 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 Huh? Like, I have to pee. I have to pee. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, let her talk. Let her talk. You go pee. Sunday. Jesus is king, though. For real. And your donkey looks good. Guys, thank you. <laughs> no. Yeah, go. No, no, Special go. moment on this podcast. Just Look go. at Cole. Look, yo, Cole's, Cole's grabbing her face right now. Cole. Yeah, Why don't you come that. here? Yeah, yo, move, move to the mic and move Cole over here, cause I want, I want people to see Cole's face right now. <laughs> Cole, come here, come here. Cole, come here. Oh, this is supposed to be you. Get right now. Yeah, don't say it's supposed to be. Take no, my bad. Sorry. I'm dead. No, Cole, like right you Cole got that vein popping now. off, yo. Right fist, two pumps. No, I made Cole a Moscow mule. I made Did her you? too. Yeah. I'm Ooh. fucking dead. So what? We we about to talk about Jesus? Cole, are you religious? Hot. Um, I believe. I believe There's a difference. Wait, 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 wait. There's a difference between religion and relationship. There okay. is a difference. I just believe that like. It's about to get real Jesus You can be real, real God damn, But you can't blame that on everything. Like, yes, Cold ask God blushing. for shit, but make a plan when yourself. Like, you can ask him, but what are you doing yourself to to help him give you what you ask? Like, you can't just ask and sit on your ass. So you're trying to work with God. You're like, look, God, I want to ask for this, but also I'm going to work with you. No, but when like, you ask, for a miracle, ask God, a bitch, are you worthy of a miracle? Hey! No, yeah, but when you it. ask God Call for something, shot. when you ask God, so let's say you ask God for discipline, he's going to put you in something that's going to make you be like, okay, this is discipline. He's going to put you in a test. Teach he's not just going to be like, okay, now you got discipline. It's like, no, I'm going to put you in a situation where you going to learn some discipline. So let's say like for me, like I want to work out and it's like, okay, well, you have a gym set up at home. What you going to do? Like you have that. So it's like, are you gonna get up? Are you gonna, gonna go watch to you and judge you? <laughs> like, no, no literally, literally. God's not just gonna For give it to like, you. God. Yeah, like what the God, fuck I are you doing? Out. I want to show off these tattoos on tour. He's like, girl, <laughs> figure it out. Cool. <laughs> God's like, do that shit. I guess. Yeah, I feel that though. It is. It is true, man. Like, it just is what it fucking is. I don't know. We were talking about Jesus and all this shit and. Lilo was back there fucking, you know. No, because. What is this, by the way? Because she was like, what did Literally. Me. The she whole time she's like. And I texted her and I was like, what does that mean? And she, she goes, I have like, a lot to say. And I go, oh, I'm I thought like, you were being touched me. by the Lord or something. Well, like, I thought like, she was like, nudging me. Like, you, you got it. You so got God's this. nudging you to tell to tell people what? Look, okay. So here it is. Religion and relationship. Those are two different things. Y'all, I'm a preacher's kid, okay? Oh, they're the same. So I've grown up in the church. I've grown up in religion, and then I've learned what relationship is. Religion, I'm not going to say I take it completely out of my life because religion kind of helps me 
maintain that relationship that I have with God, but relationship is more genuine to where you're going to get more of the, the, you're going to evolve more and you're going to get more of the work in your life because it's like, God wants you for who you are. He doesn't expect you to be perfect. That's why he died for our sins. That's why he died on the cross for our sins. Cause he knows we're human and he knows we're going to make mistakes. We're going to do this, but he's like, it's okay. Like, just come to me. It's like, all right, you made that mistake. Just come to me. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to help you out. So that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. So religion for me is just more of, okay, because I think about it as I go to church every Sunday. I do Bible study during the week. That's religion because that's what helps me maintain that relationship with God. So it's like going to the gym versus just thinking you're going to get skinny. <laughs> is that what it is? It's like you're just working well, out. Well, the gym, like, I don't I want always... to wake up to go to the gym exactly. every day, but I'm determined to. Like, I don't exactly. want to go, but I'm going to wake up I and fucking go. I feel like go. God right now yeah. is just throwing at me that I ain't worked like, out shit. in, like, five no, months. He's like, bitch, you want to be skinny and you ain't worked out? <laughs> so they both came on here. First of all, two of the skinniest bitches I know are coming on here, like, going to the gym, going to the gym. So I, now I'm taking it as a sign. I got you, Jesus. <laughs> that's the time it is I bet so you come in? Yeah. well it's the yeah. thing Jesus, we can share so God can Jesus share that's another thing God I love is how Yayo just added his artwork as the oh, part of the there. backdoor <laughs> okay cool I'm like alright this is it now nice well, God is literally nice. Jesus is the son there's Yay. the son there's God there's, 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 there's the father the son and the holy spirit the father is God the son is Jesus and the holy spirit is what's in us so we are the ones that are on earth we're learning we're growing but our purpose is what brings the part of the Holy Spirit. Lisa, get on the mic and tell us what what, what you think about Jesus, because I ain't never heard you talk about Jesus. <laughs> She's like, don't believe in Jesus. By huh? grandma. You believe in Jesus? You in God? Oh, I love that. You know, yes. God said you only need to have faith as small as a mustard seed. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mustard seed. I feel a like mustard seed no is right. very small. It's very tiny. I feel like for all you, you like personally, if you seed. feel like you're doing enough, then that's all you need to do. I'm not gonna exactly. lie. I never heard that. I only heard that from you. From, never heard from that? Big Sean. I heard that. Big Sean said, "I got the faith of a mustard seed," mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, okay, cool. That's all you I need." Thought mustard was for hot dogs. A mustard seed. Mm. A mustard seed is very, treadmill very tiny. To, but I never seen it's a, a treadmill plant. to heaven. That's what I do. I feel so passionate about this. Let me know if you can hear me in the thing because I don't have headphones on. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like religion and the, the certain teachings and the way that people go about the teachings has turned so many people away from Jesus, mm -hmm. where Jesus is so much about love and acceptance and genuinely just wants a relationship with you. And if you can recognize the fact that there is a spirit realm that there is something so much bigger and greater than us that our energies and our souls do not die then you can if you even if you can just believe in the idea of aliens we're like okay this interdimensional being that can transcend time and space and has this like knowledge and technology that's so far beyond us like there's just so many infinite possibilities and what religion has done and this is actually psalm 118 Colon oh, eight. I don't God know how to say damn, it. Sure no, no, listen, for real. Oh my for real, God. This one is. She's listen to this. This is the song, dude. Queen. Listen to me. Listen to me, though. It is the middle. Uh, the, the, I don't remember that many, but this one is so impactful to me because I'm obsessed with like numbers and synchronicities and divine perfection. It's the exact middle of the Bible. On the left of it is the shortest song, verse in the entire Bible, and the right of it is the longest verse in the entire Bible. It's the dead center, Terrible. and it says. Um, it is better to put your faith in the Lord than trust in man. And what religion does is men, like humankind, tends to take relation man as men as in humankind we take these things whereas like if you look at the structure of the church and like again i'm catholic and i i would i don't want to turn away from that faith but i look at some of the catholic teachings and i'm like okay well in this era in like the fourth and fifth century all these centuries they're they're doing these things that are clearly unbiblical where they're charging for indulgences and they're creating all of these laws those are man-made laws that's why it's important for every single person to read the bible by themselves and listen to god trust the lord trust the word of God understand that these are divine writings these are the word of God and use your own discernment and understand that God loves you God isn't judging you God isn't condemning you it's not what human beings are saying it is learn it for yourself because once you start to learn it for yourself like Jesus is love Jesus is our brother Jesus is our father our father in heaven loves us so much the Holy Spirit was given to us 50 days after Jesus's death as a gift to us that God is living within us at all times mm -hmm. so when you hear those thoughts in your head you get to choose is this god talking to me is this a demon talking to me the and discernment if you can, in your exactly spirit. 
And when you train your brain, basically it's like, imagine a car, right? If you leave the windows cracked, if you don't change your oil, all of a sudden, like people can break in, bugs can get in, rats can build in, a bees, bees can build their hives inside your car because you're not maintaining your car, your car can break down. If you maintain your car, the only person that can access it is you. Mm-hmm. So if you're maintaining your body, your car, and allow only the Holy Spirit to access your car, your body, that's who's driving. God is driving your car. Mm-hmm. If you don't take care of your car you're letting the bees in you're letting the rats in you're letting the bugs in you're letting the strangers in. somebody's going to steal your car that's what it is to let somebody to take over your soul so that's that's my thing especially like to you snow just because you're the one sitting here like don't let religion turn you from jesus because jesus is alive and real and like it's so that's like that's something that i always like to tell all my friends everybody is like religion has always been an issue in in my family and all of that because I've I've grown up very old school in the church and everything and religion has dro- driven me away from the church. It mm, was me too. my decision to come back, but it was because my relationship with God. That's why I'm more relationship than religion. Mm-hmm. But I also wanted to piggyback off of like, you know, God will use you in any way he can for you to reach anybody. So mm-hmm. you're in the LGBT community or if you've done drugs and all of that, I like to I like to use Ja Rule as an example. Like he was well into drugs and all of that, but at the same time he reached so many people and inspired and really just spread the word of God so much that God will use anyone as long as they could spread the love of God. Mm -hmm. So when there's like, when we talk about heaven, it's like, honestly, we don't know if God's going to accept us or not, but I do know that God will use anyone in any capacity or any genre to make Mm -hmm. sure that his love and his word is going to reach anybody that can understand it. Somebody said I'm more spiritual. I want to jump on that and say like, dude, that's, that's what I came around to. And like, I'm 31. Right. So like, I'm not somebody who like, I was raised like Catholic, turned away from it for years, became like internet famous, got all this like attention and fame and money, right? And then I was like, damn, like Jesus is real though. Like Jesus is spiritual. Like the the Holy Spirit, you're talking about spirits. Mm -hmm. Why would you let anybody have access to your body than the Holy Spirit? You say, okay, well, who's the Holy Spirit? Who's this one spirit? I only want God to have access to me. You start to realize like, oh, it's not like this super boring, weird, all rules based, all restrictions based. And then you start to realize, oh, this idea of sin, right? Is actually things that are hurt me so when you realize it's like oh so like God doesn't want me to do things that are bad for me and you start to realize like oh the things that I thought that I liked actually aren't good for me so like I was smoking weed all day every day I actually don't think that weed inherently is bad for you I was abusing weed like to me sin is excess sin is things that bring you away from God and make you feel worse like if you're a liar if you're lying all the time that's a sin right Mm -hmm. you're putting yourself in a situation where it's like this is stressful this can really come back to bite me this is something I have to keep up with if you're stealing that's very rarely gonna work out for you if you're cheating and committing adultery like if you're like you know I'm not being faithful to your wife that's gonna come back to bite you so it's like we're given these rules of like no this is how like to live a better life like there's these 10 commandments just follow these 10 rules homie and like if you follow these 10 rules like don't steal don't cheat don't lie like don't have another god before me so like when people talk about the universe for example or create a god in their head that is creating a false god where it's like well I my god doesn't feel this way and it's like well that's a god that you're creating god tells you who he is the universe is a false god if you're manifesting from energy that's a false god put your faith in the one who created you and no it's not some dude sitting on a cloud like you know what i mean like that's not sure. real it, or on a chair I mean, he might have a throne you know right what i mean right there in washington dc like yeah maybe like you know it, it really is something that we as human beings cannot fathom which is why we were given jesus christ because God was like, okay, you guys still don't get it. Here's Jesus. Like, (laughs) he's me, but like in a person form, you know? I saw someone say, but you have to repent about something. Mm -hmm. God knows your heart. Mm -hmm. He knows your heart. And you should know your heart too. But what's amazing about like, dude, repent is such an intense word where you, you see people like, like on the street, like repent, repent. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? But it really just means like, truly, when God starts changing your heart She's and like, your soul, <laughs> no word, no. But when God starts changing your heart and your soul, like I, I all of a sudden like, I was like, oh, I actually don't want to be high all day every day. 
like you know what I mean like I, like actually this is crazy I've never said this publicly but like I actually became celibate when I started like getting close to Jesus again because I was just like not even because I'm afraid I'm gonna go to hell if I have sex with somebody like it's not that it's just like damn like god like had this plan for me whereas like why am i wasting my time and energy and creating a soul tie with somebody Straight up. you know what i mean like that's what it was and it's like oh so god set this rule for me and like where marriage like when that was written marriage wasn't a thing like legal marriage wasn't a thing it was the different times where it was like oh this is the person you're choosing to be with mm-hmm. you know what i mean so he was just like do that once like pick the person you want to be with and just like stick with it and then with the way that we create a culture was like all of these things are super normal dating apps are super normal we have all these choices we have all these options like there's no like consequences to anything it, that was to protect us like i feel like that's what people don't understand about like sin and like following the word of god it's not to hurt us it's not to suppress us it's not to oppress us it is like no truly i know you because i created you this is what is best for you to live your happiest life exactly sorry i rambled a lot there no that's that's you hit it right on the nail like right yeah there right there all i say all i'm just big on relationship mm-hmm. your relationship with god is genuine <laughs> like yeah so, so, so people are saying, they're thinking that i'm not paying attention like i am but they have a lot more to say about like god and jesus than i do like i said what i had to say about god like that's yeah. about it like i'm not so like vocal like it's not like every I'll, i don't like make christian songs about god and stuff i just like you know i feel and how you don't I feel have to and I you don't about, have to i feel yeah. how i feel and i say and you know right. and, I, and i tell y'all whenever i need to t- tell y'all but that's about it you know like like i don't know i'm, I'm not it's okay to have your own relationship yeah and i'm also you here drunk on a podcast you know what i mean exactly and, and, and again and again i'm also here like gay you feel me so it's like i was like for for many reasons told that like you know like religion wouldn't necessarily accept me you know and and one of my favorite aunts who like literally raised me she was kicked out of her church like she was kicked out of her church for her choices you know Mm -hmm. so it's one of those things where it's like there's a lot of different reasons why a lot of us feel like we're not accepted or we're not you know whatever so what i'm telling you is just like look if you ever are in a point where you literally have no hope, right? You have no hope, you know, because I get, I get, I get talked to by a lot of y'all motherfuckers, like especially on meet and greets or like at, at shows. Like you saved my life, or like you know I wanted to kill myself and I did, that I didn't because of this. Okay, I've been at that point, and the reason that I didn't was because of the exact same reason that I give y'all motherfuckers, which is I had developed a reason, a, a relationship with God, and I and I did what I did. That doesn't mean. Um, you gotta fucking be super like Bible fucking, you know, like all this. You mm. just whatever you can, whenever you can, however you can, it'll make you feel better to the point where it just becomes a daily thing for you because it just makes it gives you that much peace within you. And there are times when listen, nobody forces me to go to church. Nobody forces me to but have I stepped like I haven't gone to mass, but have I stepped in a church? Yes. I've gone to a church whenever I can do i kneel down do i bless myself pray do i do all that yes i have on a random day if i walk by one yes i will walk in because it's just like it's it's what i feel like i need to do or i want Mm. to do but um that's about it you know other than that like i don't want y'all motherfuckers to think dude somebody just said i was kicked out of a church for being lesbian and my grandfather was the pastor see that's where like i really hope that my grandfather was a fucking pedophile dude dark oh, no dude like let that <laughs> shit out because that's the problem is like and he the, was a bible the, thumper like straight up and like, there's there's a lot of problems is. in the churches in general like the catholic church had that whole like pedophilia scandal exposed but like it sucks that so many people get turned off and turned away from like jesus and god in general because of the institutions whereas like if you read the bible it's literally just like man will keep trying to hold on to religion and keep trying to hold on to traditions whereas like jesus was literally like no have a relationship with me have a relationship with the father like forget like he's literally yelling if you read the bible he's yelling at the highest esteemed religious leaders at the time the pharisees being like you're hypocrites he's literally flipping tables at the temples being like this is not what is wanted jesus yeah, when is y'all was love bootlegging the merch when motherfuckers was bootlegging the merch he was flipping the fucking tables <laughs> so, don't be, <laughs> so don't be fucking <laughs> mad at me don't be mad that y'all be bootlegging my merch because it's like bro yeah. even jesus was flipping the tables like y'all bootlegging the fucking merch fuck all y'all that's y'all stealing. stealing it's stealing, stealing. it You're is stealing yo but you it, was stealing jesus yeah. trademark but no i'm sorry that you had that experience too <laughs> of like 
I'm sorry for everybody who had an experience where they felt like they weren't accepted. And I'm so happy that like the Catholic church that I go to and like the Bible studies that aren't Catholic that I'm like engaged with, like, they're just like, come as you are, dude. Like, we're not about judgment. We're not about condemning. Like we, we all have different sins. And I think where it comes with homosexuality and anything, Oh, but the Pope just said it's okay to be gay. Dude, that's what I'm saying though. Like the thing is like it, I, I don't have a stance on because I'm not Jesus and I'm not a judge and I don't judge the anybody. The Bible said don't judge either. Yeah, so. exactly. And like I, I also don't know the Bible well enough to say like, like I don't know. My whole thing is like, God says if you break one commandment, you break them all. So even if homosexuality is a sin, so is having sex before marriage, so is getting drunk, so is smoking weed, so is lying. So it's like it's like we all basically sin is just like something that's so. F- it, we don't understand what it is even I feel like most people and people like they would look at somebody and judge somebody who is gay right and they'd be like well but I'll have sex before marriage or I'll do these things and it's like okay but that's literally the exact same thing if God is saying one thing is wrong or whatever like and the thing is Jesus was just like oh like everybody sins and everybody has their own thing I abused drugs for a long time you know what I mean so like I would never judge anybody for anything and like I don't know like at the end of the day I don't have the answers I have my own relationship with God but that's why I say like God reaches whoever he can like Mm with people who has dealt with drugs or in the LGBT community, like that literally has nothing to do with your heart posture at all at the end of the day. So it's like, for example, you have someone who has inspired people who have, (laughs) she's like, (laughs) like what's up with my posture? (laughs) Like what's my posture doing? No, just someone who has experienced fans coming up to her. Like you saved me from suicide. Mm -hmm. You saved me from this. Like I stopped cutting this and that. Mm -hmm. That's literally the work of God. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, God loves everyone. Mm -hmm. He doesn't judge. He knows we're all human. He knows we go through this and that and the third. So it's like he used, he uses whoever. You don't think God knows what, what our world is in right now? You don't think God understands everything? That's why I feel like he looks at our heart posture. He's like, if you're someone who is purposeful and someone who is just spreading my love, I'm going to use you. Yeah. I'm going to use you in any in any way that I can because at the end of the day, when you really think about it, us being on this earth, it's not about us. Yeah. It's Shout not about Bill us Withers. at all. Yeah. Like our, our purpose, like, like you guys influence because you guys want to influence others it's for Mm. other people it's not for us Mm -hmm. we're doing just the works that we got and we're getting you know we're getting rewarded for that stuff we're getting paid we get we get the life that we wanted Thank God that yeah oh wait do you want this no i'm telling you that okay, because the other one's like as we're drinking and we're talking about and also alcohol. no but like that's the that's thing so like who can, you Come know what I mean? you are but i would think no but i would think about i would think in the sense of things first of all as an altar no. girl i used to pour the wine Mm-hmm. So we was getting lit in the fucking, no, you know, in the church. Sorry to call it the fucking, sorry. Oh, we was getting lit in the church. God, We're not perfect all of a sudden. Also, depending on what religion you are, let's be for fucking real. The problem is that throughout history, let's let's get off the God topic and let's get off religion. Just throughout history, people yeah. quote unquote pretending to be fucking proper and suppressing mm-hmm. regular fucking feelings. What they end up doing is doing some weird, sneaky, foul shit, mm-hmm. which is what ends up happening in places where or in religions where it's like, oh, you 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 know you know it's like you can't you know have sex. Okay, well mm-hmm. so now they're fucking molesting children oh you can't do you know this Mm -hmm. so now you're fucking sneaking around doing this other thing or like fucking you know proper fucking you know when the the europeans was trying to keep their blood you know you know whatever the fuck it was now it's incest Mm -hmm. like there's always been that weird feeling of like Mm -hmm. what people will think and what people you know and then they end up doing some weird fucking shady shit so to me it's like i'd rather be very honest about who i am and be very real obviously there's some things that we should we have to have a moral fucking compass you Mm -hmm. know leave children alone you know don't Mm -hmm. fucking don't don't do anything to children like fucking leave their innocence like respect that shit like don't steal don't Mm -hmm. rob don't fucking lie Mm -hmm. don't hurt people don't be malicious don't all these things you have to have a moral compass and that's one thing that i will take from you know and i don't know if you want me to express but like my brother like when he was atheist i don't know what the fuck you are now we don't talk about it but when my brother was atheist podcast i love jesus yeah (laughs) 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 
<laughs> but that honestly gorgeous. makes me so happy though because like for real like i'm telling you i like str- i struggled so much through like the industry through life like i grew up with religious trauma like i completely just like i backed away from so much of it and it just I, I feel like I was given this gift because I prayed for it and because I was blessed with alone time. I was blessed with isolation. I and was you were blessed, blessed with those like, hard times. Bitch. Exactly. You I was blessed. blessed through that. And through those hard times, like as much as I was rejecting it so hard because I was just like, no, like all this stuff isn't real. Like whatever. Like maybe Jesus existed, but he wasn't. Da, 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 da. And then it was just like, I, I just couldn't deny it anymore. And that's why I'm so passionate about it is because God just shone this light on me. And he was just like, please let people know like Jesus is my son Jesus is the way to heaven Jesus is not who you think he is and I started thinking like the the path that I walked where it's like people are just painting me as this person that I'm not people are creating this thing that I'm not and I'm looking at Jesus like damn like most of the stuff that people say about Jesus isn't even real like his the things that people use Jesus for is even real imagine if you were murdered and then your murderers created something in your name that was not you like jesus did not create a religion jesus was a jew jesus you know what i mean like he he didn't create all of these things he just was like he came here to try to show us how to live in a, a place of like love and acceptance Straight up, jesus should have had an nda because while these motherfuckers <laughs> wrote his story yeah but he didn't get to write his own story yeah. he should have nda'd everybody yeah because how dare you write a story but also bro if i fucking also, die and one of you motherfuckers wait, writes a book about me i'm fucking name? haunting Simon? you i'm letting everybody know or right Peter, now zoom say? in on me right now if you anybody writes a fucking book oh, or a movie Judas. if i die yeah. and you write a fucking book or a movie on me i hope all my fans fucking find you or beat your ass but on that note on that note he did he did entrust his church to his apostle so like i look at all this stuff as like this is history like when you you start looking at the bible as like history and you're like this is real stuff that happened like all we have to go off of is the books of people who lived before us we didn't have cell phones we didn't have technology the only thing that we can go off is these books these books were actually they went through hands and hands and hands there were so many people in jesus's time who were claiming to be the messiah the only person who made it through all the time is jesus because so many people witnessed the miracle goals that he um experienced like if you look through the bible in in just the gospels you hear the same story repeated multiple times through multiple authors where like the story of the blind man who was cured of blindness is told like 10 times You're like why is this told 10 times and i looked at it from a historical context and i was like in the time the hebrew law was if two people saw something if there were two witnesses it was truth mm-hmm. so it was like these apostles and the people who were writing the gospels were collecting the story so many times and that's why they wrote it down so many times so like this book that was passed down through these centuries and centuries and centuries went through so many hands of people being like yeah this is right dude like this is what happened this is actual testimony of real people sorry i don't mean it no, someone ahead, said i want to be snow's disciple <laughs> that's Love fucking that. lit Love that. Somebody said hey. I, to talk about I like that well, yeah, yeah, we what? should show the uh, final reveal of the Somebody's painting like i want to Oh, yeah, they wanted to see right your here. your final, my final. It's I'm just not, not dry like, yet. No, can, I, can I be honest though? Can I be honest though? I do feel like hers should be zoomed in on because when you zoom out, it doesn't look as good as when you zoom in. And also, if I like, had zoom more, in. like the paint's not dry. Zoom I would, in. If you let me take this home and finish it, and like give it to you, like I'll I'll send it back to you or like drive it back to you when it's oh done. Oh my gosh, she did oh, girl, you gotta start a new one. This is, this is Here, go ahead, go ahead. No, that's beautiful. It I needs like a little it. more work. It needs more detail, but the paint's not dry. See, no, I, I like do. that. It is tight though, low key. It's no, it's tight. <laughs> it's because you gotta zoom in, bitch. Like, you gotta zoom in. It's like you a Monet. Zoom in. Yeah, it's a Monet. Monet is about. About. Oh. It's the opposite of a no, Monet. No, it's dope, bro. Like you gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. You gotta, you gotta zoom in because when you was watching it from far away, it's like different. But once you zoom in and you get that detail, it's the textures. I'm proud of it. I like it. <laughs> Thanks. Look at that. Low key. Yeah. You gave her green and blue eyes. Yeah, Ooh. you yeah, There's you made my lips too, nice. Yo, I'd be there. pulling the bitches. <laughs> Yo, if I lived in art world, I'd be pulling the bitches. You got some texture in the beanie. Look, little texture I got you. Right there. I'm like, look at my eyes, you're gonna be dizzy, bitch. Look at the cheekbones. You Man, see the definition right. of the lips. cheekbones? Look, look at my you got lips. Some thick lips. I'm about to be like color. <laughs> 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 
fuck you mean? That's my, I love that's that. my Picasso. I, I like it. Picasso, I like it. I love the donkey. Molly, <laughs> the I like the donkey. Up. The donkey's fucking lit. The donkey is so lit. Fire. He is out here. Got a gold tooth. Got. Why does he have more, more, uh, more, more highness in one eye than the other? True. The, the smoke was going in that eye. Be crazy. <laughs> there was a little bit of smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks a little really bit of good. mohawk. He's like mixed with a, a chicken yeah. cock. Oh, whoa, <laughs> not a chicken like cock. Yeah, yeah. Or roosters. Okay, where's yours? Not the donkey with the. Not, we, I never did anything else. That was it. What's the name? This is the church. The donkey is the church, so good. baby. And the Edgar. church baby is so good. The preacher's too. kid. <laughs> <laughs> that is a preacher's kid. The for preacher's sure. son. He got the. Whoa, he don't have the. He looks like The cross so necklace? He got the cross necklace? He does, he does. Cause, is that cause my I, brother? Yeah. That's no, fuck no. I hate your brother. Um, sorry. Oh. Illegal alien, ILA. Sorry. I don't know if you guys I have him on my, my body. Bad. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's ILA. That's the illegal alien. Sorry. That was, yeah. That's Sorry. Don't get me drunk and then get that's ask me That's my long opinions. lost brother. Yeah, I, I really like this George Lopez. This is an IPA. Can I taste it? Really? I'm interested. You like IPA? Can I, you don't, you don't think I'm the, I don't, I don't like IPA. IPA. I think that's a problem. Is it weird? No. It's like a blue face. It's good, huh? That's tasty. Yeah, that is tasty. What is yeah. it? Okay, so I think that's what it is. What it's like, I thought it was burnt, but you guys like, 25. you guys like. Okay. I know, I look like. <laughs> I don't want to hand a minor alcohol on camera, especially. It's just people like IPA, people don't. No. Oh, Wait, somebody wants the church baby me. painting. Oh, uh, church baby. I mean, you know, but you know, we we. Uh, I mean, after this podcast, I think mine was the most true to relevant. True to <laughs> what the fuck he's you was matching, talking about. Not matching me with my cross necklace. You like, like But yo, all right. Well, okay. You know, letting us know with the music to play it out, and he's like, all right, y'all, we <laughs> done. Like she was saying a prayer when we it has been three hours. No, that's it. We had enough. Jesus prayer. Time. No, can we just lead one prayer? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my God, are y'all serious? We right okay. Fine. Why not? Here we go. One. We're gonna lead up. We, we're gonna go out with a prayer. Two, we might fuck around and have a day ones or not, whatever. But What's just a day we try to get. What is that? So I'm for my members, one. like my 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 paying members, like I do a live where like it's more nobody's allowed to screen record, nobody's allowed to do nothing. We get to have another beer and we get to just talk. Tight. Okay. Tight. So it's more of a like no screen recording, no nothing, just straight up. You know, I did it sure. with Dog Phase. I did it with a couple people, and I do think it's fun because it's just like we still get to talk with y'all, but it's not this shit. Anyway. Yeah. Let's go out with a prayer and we'll figure out if we want to do that shit. You ready? You here we go. that. Me? Yeah. <laughs> for what? For everybody here? Everybody in the podcast room? Thank you, Lord, for this amazing podcast. Spreading your love, spreading your grace, and spreading your spirit. We bless everyone on YouTube here in the room. Amen. Babe, Amen. that was a short... I've heard you say the real ones, and I can tell oh, you, you want me to do that. Let me, let me throw you one in real quick. Christ, I thought we had to I want to throw one in where it's just like, hey, hey, want me to speak in tongues? My, oh, yeah. my prayer for everyone hey. is just that, like, I hope that you find peace and, like, don't turn away from God because of religion. I hope that you're blessed with, like, the truth and the light, and you understand, like, the love that comes along with Jesus, who is our Savior. Like, if, again, if you believe in, like, spirituality, if you believe in life outside of us, like, just open your mind to that and you don't have to commit to it it's a slow process like it takes years you know what i mean just ask god like that that source that higher source for like i know there's something bigger that's god like imagine the highest 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 source the one that created everything like could jump a bit i know there's something bigger go to the biggest source just call it god that's what it is right so just go to god and be like i want the truth have that faith that God is going to answer you and give you the truth and be open to the truth when it comes and just be patient with yourself like know that God loves you Jesus loves you and that like you're all on your own timeline and it's part of the beauty of this journey I love you all bless you all amen in my in Jesus amen. mighty name amen. 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 amen thank you guys so much we appreciate y'all yeah. <laughs> Esa niña no se aguanta, quiere todo porque el pussy sabe a panta. Si la dejas por pendejo se te casa. Dale todo dos de lengua y una horchata. Si te alcanza, I'm the shit, huh? Are you catching what I'm throwing for? I pick up. Same bitch I always was, now I'm just richer. I'm about to shake it up and check the Richter. This a sticker. You say some things your numbers don't say. I got some kids with toys that don't play. Kilo de azúcar pa mi con flay. I don't need roses, pour me rose. Yo soy Santa, baby, yo soy vale madre, fuck a chancla. Lo que yo sí tengo mucho a ti te falta. Y si quieres yo te enseño con
con el ram, pa, pa, pam, ram, pa, pa, pam, pam. No soy santa, baby, yo soy vale madre, faca, chancla. Lo que yo sí tengo mucho a ti te falta. Y si quieres yo te enseño con el ram, pa, pa, pam, ram, pa, pa, pam, pam. Don't try to play me, baby. I'm a Michoacana, which means I've been a Mexican snack and I split your banana. Solo yo sé mi rollo, guayaba, también sácate cana. Me encanta la línea de Fanta porque nadie me aguanta. Por eso I've been on my grind, on my grind. I've been on my grind. They've been cold and I've been on, but my name's Snow, I got it. And it's ice on my chest, you can suck a paleta if you hate. Aquí se respeto, te empaco maleta por güey. No soy Santa, baby, yo soy vale madre, faca chancla. Lo que yo sí tengo mucho a ti te falta. Y si quieres yo te enseño con el ram, pa, pa, pam, ram, pa, pa, pam, pam. No soy Santa, baby, yo soy vale madre, faca chancla. Lo que yo sí tengo mucho a ti te falta. Y si quieres yo te enseño con el ram, pa, pa, pam, ram, pa, pa, pam, pam. I don't need roses, pour me rose. Mami got rosaries and gon' pray. These kids got toys and no, they don't play. Quiero un kilo de azúcar pa' mi con flakes. Look, I don't need roses, pour me rose. Mami got rosaries and gon' pray. These kids got toys and no, they don't play. Quiero un kilo de azúcar con flakes. Tengo hipo.